And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. It's The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. And our, you. Yeah, we got a fucking big one today, buddy. We got a big one. It's growing it's basically, up basically, yeah, this is going to be like a comedic Wu-Tang album. There's going to be 12 <laughs> people on the mics. But first off, the RZA, the, oh, I was going to, you'd be the Jizza, I think. If we're doing Wu-Tang. You're the Chizzer. By the way, I just want to be Method Man. Yeah, everyone wants to be Method Man, dude. Rizza and Chizzer are so uneventful. Like, I met them in press one time doing Rachel Ray. And I was like, really? Are they the responsible ones of Wu-Tang? And they wear bad shoes. (gasps) You monster. I feel like You God and Master Killer were the wastes. I feel like You God was just hanging around going, do you guys want me to jump in? (laughs) They're going, You God, get out of here. He goes, I can jump in if you guys need me. I wrote a little something. And then in the production meeting, they're like... Look, you God keeps coming in with shit. I mean, can we throw him on one of these songs? They go, ah, can we put him on an interlude? And he goes, I think we got to put him on an actual song. <laughs> you know, Whose his, cousin is he? <laughs> his, his texts are, hey, guys, we going to L.A. this week? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he looks at the two Guys, I saw a thing that we're, uh, I saw we're in Denver. He goes, he goes guys, I don't, I don't have want, a ticket. Anybody? I, I don't want to be rude or anything, but I got a friend in South Carolina, and I just looked online, and it says we're going to be there next Tuesday. Is that real? Or? Also, can I get somebody on the list tonight? No? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. I'll pay for their ticket. I'll totally pay for their ticket. <laughs> I'll, pay for their, I'll get their ticket. Like, I'll cover it if I have to. But by the way, that's the thing we all do. And they actually take them up on it. They go, yeah. all right, we're going to take it out of they your go, pay, though. He's they like, go, yo, there okay. is, a, they go, you God, there is a Ticketmaster surcharge of 1995 for a $60 ticket. It's going to put you at 9137. Uh, uh, I'll get your friend's face value, but they're going to have to pay. Is it going to, are you going to kill me if it's, <laughs> it's not general admission? He looks at his check and he goes, sweet, you charged me the whole ticket price. <laughs> And the surcharge. Yeah. As he's and going the surcharge. Wow. But okay. He's, he's, right. No, I get it. He's sitting at the front of the couch bus on the tour bus, just looking at his statements, going, "You guys, you guys are taking food out of this too." <laughs> he goes, "Did you guys all get a foul for this show?" And he's like, "Yeah, we all got a foul." Yeah. Method Man's like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just gotta go in the back bedroom. Uh, I can't look him in the face." <laughs> yeah. I talked. I talked to uh, Chris Estevano because yeah. we're both doing the. In Private Jarrett's cruise uh-huh. this morning, and Jim goes, "How do they pay for that?" And Chris stuff goes, "Horrible," and I go, "Fantastic!" Oh, that's so great. <laughs> I think I'm officially going. By the way, yeah. Oh fuck yes! Sal texted me today. So yeah. jealous. Oh, oh, you have no idea. This is the year I die. No, <laughs> it has to be because I'm having so much fucking fun. Are you gonna die at sea, dude? Oh, that's a good. If, if there's a burnt way to go out. Death, at, Death sea. at sea. If I die, if I die on the cruise, before I wait, we just no. get rid of my body, <gasps> dude, and make no, it. Let's, not, let's not get rid of your body. Let's just have you. If you're gonna do it, dude, just go off the front, dude, Titanic style. Oh, King of the world, it the machine out. Hey, both of you pans, <laughs> both of you pansies need to step it up. This guy's gonna live up to his nickname. <laughs> we gotta throw him in a fucking parasail and then just cut the rope. <laughs> we get a Bernie style. It. Yeah, oh. just have a dead oh, body. If I die, we get him to burn as me. Yes. Let's just keep partying with me. <laughs> <laughs> I go like, and then one of your friends gets mad because they get you week three. They go, dude, no one cleaned his pants out. He evacuated right after he died. No one cleaned them. <laughs> he is riddled. With flies, yes. we can't take him back to L.A. Not because of his family, but because of coyotes. They're just gonna fucking rip parts of him apart. One of them walked down to Sunset. They wanted to bite a piece of fucking bird off. To be honest, all those, all that booze. I thought he was gonna be pickled. Yeah. Turns out, no. Yeah, bird, bird's rotting gonna be, like anybody else. Bird's gonna be like. Uh, Bert, You'd be shocked. You'd be yeah. shocked. Bird's gonna be rum ham. Like, if you bite him, you're gonna get hammered. It's rum ham. Yeah, yeah from oh. all of a sudden. Oh, oh I just put Bert like every barbecue. Barbecue, just tape a spatula to his hands and put him next yeah. to the barbecue. I, I'm, I'm up on the roof. I'm on the roof operating. I'm like a minaret. I'm like, oh, God damn it. So does hey, anyone, burgers are up. You go, have, you, have you guys seen how fucking strong Soder's core is? They go, yeah, well, what you don't know is weekend operator of Burt Kreischer. <laughs> I think about my funeral way too much. Do you? A hundred percent. I think about, I'm a hypochondriac, so I worry about the disease that's going to kill me slowly and painfully. So then I think about how I'm going to have to make the healthy video to play at my funeral where I'm going to have to be like, hey, guys, just to really trip them out. That's what I would want to do is make a healthy – if I got like a terminal illness, you make the video where you find out when you have the illness where you're like, hey, it's regular me. You probably watch me wither away. I want, you do, I want you to do like a My Life where you teach your unborn child a bunch of things about being a man. I go, hey. You ever see that sad movie? I go like, yeah, I go like, Are yeah, you trying Mike, to make us cry? Yeah, with Michael Keaton. But mine would be like this. 
Run cover two a lot in Madden. <laughs> he goes, I mean, I goes, it's deep coverage. Yeah. It's also across the middle. Honestly, if you're playing anything older than Madden 16, I would say you can just stack your linebacker behind the DN. You have an open pathway to the quarterback. You're fine. Also, uh, you get it, kiddo. Yeah. Sorry about the dead I left you. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you That's the craziest part is that people die and their dads leave them in debt. Yeah. But you don't hear about that. How? Because yeah. uh, they, uh, who is it? There was a comic that just was telling me this, that his dad passed away and he left him, left him so much fucking debt. <laughs> That's so fucked Why up. do you absorb their debt? I don't understand why. I don't know, but thank God Gary just went out silently off the grid up in Northern California when I was 14. Left you a 12 if pack I, of wine coolers. Yeah. <laughs> he left me a fucking pair of corduroy shorts, a half a pack of Marlboro Reds, and a Jimmy <laughs> Buffett tape. Wait, you lost your dad when, he was, when you were 14? Yeah, I was 14. He was 48. And he, oh yeah, booze like heavy. Ah, I don't want to like, hear that when we just bring in the booze. Yeah, but rum. Don't worry. You're okay, dead. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Jimmy Buffett fan. Yeah. Now that I think about it, he went out the way a parrot head goes out. Yeah, he would. He, he had a, a real Jimmy Buffett fan. Yeah, oh, he had yeah. a parrot's death. A parrot head death. Nothing. Wait, maybe serious? nothing funnier yeah. than seeing uh, Soder get misty when we went to a Jimmy Buffett concert together. <laughs> yeah, son of a sailor. It'll we just me went. Out. We just yeah. went to go. We only went to go watch Huey Lewis, really. But Soder kept saying, "I'm like, after Huey Lewis, we could split." And Soder's like, "Yeah, we can split after Huey Lewis." I mean, like, I'll stick around for a couple Buffett songs. I, I didn't. Uh, really, I didn't know at the time. I really yeah, didn't. I didn't yeah. know the the correlation yeah. of how much it was. Oh, heavy. I literally would have stayed the whole show if oh, I felt that. I, they're fans. I know you. Did, I know you didn't want to stay either. But I'm yeah. just saying, like, I would. I was making a push. I was like. Dude, I got like another song or so on me, and Dan's like, I just want to see what, let's see what the next song is. And yeah. it wasn't a song, I guess, that it matters. So he's yeah. like, he's like, we can go. And then we get out to the, as we're walking to the car from the stadium, you hear like, <laughs> the son of a, and yeah. Dan just goes, <sighs> <laughs> like, yeah, and I was like, "Oh man, Are you serious?" I mean, by the way, by the way I'm, I'll tell you. Yeah. I swear to all my children, yeah, I am a legit Jimmy Buffett. Dude, fan. you would have gone. Come on, I mean, hundred fucking percent. You and Gary would have gotten along like peanut butter and jelly. Dude, play some Jimmy Buffett. I'll start. Oh, what do you want to do? You start doing. He went to Pencil Paris. Most, like, I'm telling you. By the way, I'm a Buffett fan too, but mostly the hits. Like, you can put on some. He went to Paris. Can I tell you? I'm I'm actually thinking about dumbing down my act to the point where it's just Jimmy Buffett. Sorry. And like, and just being like, that's Bert. Well, can- Rip my shirt off. I'm the machine. I drink. Ah! <laughs> no fucking, and not, not trying to write jokes. How do you get misty though? Shay's burger and, well, you don't, you don't miss up to that one. That's not the one. That's, that's not the not, one. Margaritaville's not making me choke up. Oh, that's, uh, that's so you can like pound a few so you, for your next cry song. Yeah. <laughs> Margaritaville's put down the poison, put down the back. booze, let down the guard, get ready to cry. Here comes a joint like this. Oh, have you cried at Jimmy yes. Buffett? Yeah, of course. You have. Yes. Don't say the words of course to me. Okay. To have you credit Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. That's not a guarantee. That's a guaranteed cry. I didn't say you cry at the end of MASH. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, didn't. I don't know. I didn't, I'm I didn't care either. I'm reversed. I'm reversed wired. My mom falls apart. You're right, though. That is. My mom falls apart at the end of MASH. Falls apart at the end of uh, Brian's song. French wines and cheese. Uh, really? Time Brian's wife. songs, of course. Time huh? Traveler's Wife. Time Traveler's Wife. Brian, I mean, there's so many. Warrior. The movie Warrior. Oh, dude. Was that with the, the Tom Nick Hardy Nolte? And, oh, <laughs> yeah, dude, I got one. caught off guard with that yeah. fucking movie. My sister is... You thought it was going to be like a jerk-off fest? Yeah. The guy's kicking you're ass? Going, hey, bro, I told you. You get in that ring and I'm going to fucking kill you. And instead you're watching the TV going... <laughs> His dad is... And he goes, best, going, put the damn, pull the damn boat around. <laughs> Turn the damn boat around. And I'm just sitting there going... I miss my dad and I didn't do anything about... <laughs> <laughs> Nolte, you shot the son of a bitch. You did it now. I turned the damn boat around. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Dude, uh, what's the movie about the hockey team, American hockey team? Oh, the Miracle? Miracle? I mean, when, when he says, when he says, who do you, oh, I'm going to cry. I, I, I want to cry right now. When he says, who do you play for? And they go, USA? Oh, my God, I'm crying. I'm, I'm getting welled up. Dude, I am sitting yeah. in the movie theater, falling apart. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Dude, when, it, when you get hit in the movie theater, it's like being punched in front of your friends. Where you're like, I just act cool. Just don't show anybody. I think someone's, oh, here they come. Oh, oh boy. Shit. Oh, oh 
Oh, now the party's really started. Oh, I got booze coming, guys. Sit down. Let's get fucking weird. Walking in, grabbing a microphone, the great Joe DeRosa and the great Nate Bargatze. I would be like Bargatze, the first, I would like to be the first to say, it. Joe, you fucking murdered last night. Great job Thank on the road. brother. Great job. Jay, you did too. Thank but you, Joe, bro. man, I'm telling you when I say this, I was in the back with Vecchione. And and I think everyone thought you weren't gonna kill as hard as you killed, and when you went up and murdered, oh, uh, thanks, brother. I appreciate that. Thank uh, you. I was very impressed with Jay bringing it home the way he did, because Quinn was up there smashing second to last, and I turned to Bobby. I go, why the fuck is Quinn not just closing that? What yeah. the fuck, man? Jay, and then Jay came up and just fucking hit a hit a grand slam. Yeah, for was, not being prepared that yes. you were worried about. You, it was unbelievable. Nate Park, that was so Joe hard. Rosa. Yeah, all we're talking about the Rich Voss roast last night at the Village Underground. Rich, Rich Voss's 60th birthday. An unbelievable roast. And Jay closed it out. Your Jim Norton joke was probably my favorite oh, of the roast. Uh, by the way, oh, hold on. Let's, let's slow this down. Yeah. Because I was sitting next to Vecchione and Sam Morrill. Yeah. And, and oh, I was. Name dropping. And the, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you have MSG network where you live in Nashville, Nate, but yeah. he's got a TV show now. So why don't you be a little more polite to Sam? Okay. God, uh, can well can we, before we move on, can I say how much soders I'm steering the ship of this show right uh, you now? You know what I really don't like? Bugs me. I don't really like Joe DeRosa's cocktail lounge energy of coming in here and trying to pull the curtain aside. <laughs> Jesus like you're some Christ. fucking master of the medium. Hey, folks. Are you going to light yourself on fire on this fucking radio for, show? Uh, for, for those of you who don't know, folks, we're talking about the Rich Voss roast. Yeah, because there's night. some guys in his truck. Sorry, they're not all smarmy bookworms. Uh, Joe, like, I keep up to date Shut with up. everything that's fucking happening uh, on this it show. bugs me I had to ask you to come on this show. No today. one asked. You showed up. You didn't yeah. even ask. <laughs> how the you fuck, didn't even how ask. How the fuck was I not asked to be on the show? I don't know. I'm I didn't you with both of you motherfuckers. Why are you mad at me and not Jay? <laughs> hey, you can come and show whatever you want to come on the show. degrees outside right now, guys. Thank you, Nate. Uh, Nate traffic on the one. You have an open invite. You have an open invite on this show, and you know no, that. Well, that's the first I'm hearing about it. You sit in a dirty diaper all the goddamn time. Did you guys send out wax? Uh, sealed invitations to all of your hosts. I want to be friends. asked. I want to be asked by you, you not by Jay. You I respect your, Jay. I, your I want you to have to ask me. <laughs> you and your goddamn V-neck T-shirt are fucking driving me up the goddamn wall. And I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was gonna take the smashing for the glasses, not being a good radio host. So all right, I, guess, I fucking didn't see where that was coming. I just don't like that you're standing at the head of the table right don't now. Like, all the chairs are gone. I'm gonna make this fucking Jacob sit Indian style in the corner. Uh, it's Chris Hart's applesauce. <laughs> yeah, okay. So. Uh, 50 right. minute delays out of the midtown <laughs> tunnel. It's now uh, 50 degrees. Wow, that was a drop. Uh, <laughs> Nate, Nate and Jay really got that AM energy. Uh, and then Joe's fucking early 90s shock drop. What if you think, what if this was me and Jay's show and we're like, well, they really took that over on this, uh, oh, anyway, oh my guys, guys, uh, uh, anyway, in what the news, you, Trump what just had his, uh, travel ban mildly reinstated. Oh, uh, that's good. I would listen to a political talk show of you and Nate every day. It's going to get racist at some point. Yeah. <laughs> he gets to us going, well, you know, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> I don't mean nothing when I refer to it as them. <laughs> <laughs> well, there they go. All over the place. They got a whole continent. Guess Why are they going to come mess up my happened? He goes, basically what happened was you just squashed a spider and a bunch of baby spiders came out. <laughs> when Trump got elected, I was, I was with... Uh, I was with Tom Skr and Bill Burr. Oh, my and, God. And That's they, a little bit better than Mike Vecchione and Sam Morrill <laughs> that you dropped earlier. Segura just, just came out with all different levels. Tom Segura. Oh, Segura. So Segura goes, uh, <laughs> just kind of rubs, 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 rolls his shoulders and goes, eh, it's not that bad for us. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the We're perfect. Fine. Yeah. He's like a, I think this just in, Tom Segura, <laughs> Trump voter. We just found that out from Burt Kreischer, everybody. <laughs> Please tweet Tom. Oh, I'm going to get high, too, then. All right. <laughs> Nick, you know you ate weed, Right? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, My favorite moment ever, ever, ever is when you started singing at Skanks Fest. You started singing break shit stuff. Break shit? Break stuff. Break stuff. Oh, I'm and so I'm, glad we didn't talk about this yesterday. I'm glad you oh brought yeah. this up. And I'm sitting next to Nate, and we had been in the front row for every song, and I say to Nate, hey, man, we should get out of here. It's going to get crazy. And he takes his hat, turns it sideways, 
hands me his beer and disappears into the mosh pit. And I went, are you fucking Nate, kidding me? Over the, Nate just did the over the top to Bert. He goes, well, it's like a light switch when I flip it on. It's yeah. on. Yeah, Time the best part was up. watching Bert do a, Bert wasn't going to do a song and then you guys were getting fucking ramped up and then you jumped up and did a song and then Nate decided he just wanted to tag in on every song from then on. That wasn't the song I was supposed to do. But I know. He it. He's going to start doing another song. We're talking about a uh, goddamn comedy jam from Skankfest. Oh, for yeah. those of you who are just joining. <laughs> Don't forget, we got free ticks to the yeah. Summer Bash also, this weekend. Also, Come on over the wet t-shirt contest. Don't if forget. you want to meet me and Dan, we'll be in the back of Jim's Wings all night. Come by, say hi. <laughs> We're going to have keychains, beer you can, koozies. You're going to see the giant inflatable bonfire out front. <laughs> uh, down with a bunch of Tired the bar, Clay. Coming down for new kids. Boys, man, you want to Miss this one, folks. <laughs> but we're talking about goddamn comedy jam. Uh, Bert went up, fucking nailed Creed. Uh, Jay did uh, break stuff, and mm-hmm. Nate. Oh, but wait, wait, what was the song you and Lewis did? I oh, say Nate so, dude. That that is my anthem right now. That was the one so I was shit. in the middle. Yeah, yeah. and that was uh, Nate, yeah because w- saying the words after we're saying them, like he's singing <laughs> along, was the best part. Oh, that's great. That's very funny. <laughs> He's like mouthing it. I think that's what I thought when all of them, like, hey, uh, there was a moment uh, of like seeing all these dudes lined up on both sides and me being the only one in the middle. You're like, this could be not oh. good. Oh, well, so that's, well, that's, the, the, that's the point. That's the, that's so the I did, point. Limp Bizkit, my did break stuff, uh, Limp Bizkit, we talked about me and Josh Adam Myers, who runs the comedy jam. I said, uh, he was like, dude, we should try to get a wall of death going, which is like, I guess from like the hardcore scene. I've seen it at metal yeah. shows and stuff <clears throat> where they make the room split in half. And then, you know, when there's a part of a song, it's like a build that hits like a crescendo and everyone just kind of like runs towards each other and a crazy mosh pit ensues. And I said, it's not going to happen. Uh, not only did it happen, when I looked out, oh, I couldn't believe it because I couldn't see. There's a lot of light on stage. And I was like, are they doing it? Are they doing it, Josh? And I held my hand up to block the light. And I see that the room is completely divided in half. And in the middle, just Nate, yeah. like the throw the scarf chick of a drag race, is yeah. just in the middle like... <laughs> Pinky Tuscadero. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like Nate just had a vibe where he was like, clear the way. Yeah, I'm here. And like oh, Nate was you guys gonna... are letting me dance. I don't know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, like, you have no oh, idea. Oh, that's the old dance. Sure. Nate, <laughs> Nate was like the baby. It was like Pet Cemetery, where he's just walking out to the street, and you're like, yeah. no. <laughs> Nate thought he was in the soul <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Like, eh, eh, Nate's like, Jay, I'm right here. Jay, it's your buddy. Nate buddy. thought it was uh, like the Soul Train. Yeah. That's yeah. What I was going to say the Soul Train. I, I was like, oh, let me dance in the middle. No one. Uh, it's like I did this at a wedding once. <laughs> no one definitely did not tell me I was in the middle of oh. something called the Wall of Death. <laughs> that that word was not thrown around. Oh, are we going to do that Jew dance where you put me on a chair? <laughs> yeah, I'll go in the middle. Oh, speaking of which. By the way, there's very seldomly do I uh, I need acknowledgement of my greatness. But what I did, what I swear to you, I'm responsible. They do the they do the carry Lewis around, yeah, and then I start going Big J. Oh, was yeah. that you started that? A hundred percent. I had that microphone in my hand. I started chanting your name, and then I'm watching you in the back of the Eagles jersey. Go no, no, no. And then they send you out, and when you came back, you had a look, and you go, I think I'm really going to be dropped on my head. Pure fear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by they the way, that to you at your wedding. You it would say, No, they picked up the chair. Yeah, yeah. The Jew dance. Oh yeah, the we, crowd we picked them up. Oh, you're talking about regular yeah. crowds. I would be much more scared in the fucking chair. Dude. I was pretty scared yeah. in the chair because I was in there. a tuxedo yeah, pants. Too that was like slippery on the chair, so I thought it was falling. We all got in that. I remember carrying in the chair. Oh yeah, no, yeah. everyone did. Dante was pulling anchor though for sure. Yeah. Oh, I saw Dante last night. Um, yeah, I, I didn't did, see oh. Dante. Yeah, he I was next to him. Vaughn. Uh, I miss Dante. I haven't seen him in a minute. But uh, what's my call? Well, that the, behind this curtain we have. <laughs> Come the, on, Dante. The crowd surf. When they're getting you back to the stage, the crowd ends at one point, and where they were ending, they had me much more like. Head backwards going down. I was like, oh God, they're not gonna, they're just gonna let me go. Someone's gonna just let me go here and I'm gonna crack my fucking head. This is how it happens. But there's a guy, there has to be a guy that is doing the crowd surfing under you. There that wasn't. That, but that realizes that too. Where he's holding you and he's like going to pass it back and then he's like, oh shit, there's no one there. And then he has to like fucking yeah. double down. It was 1 a.m. the was, third day I of had, a drinking festival. I, no one knew which direction I was. I was the one that was the direction guy. I went and said, <laughs> perfect. Yes, I go, I'll do do it. I go, I'll make sure he doesn't Spin fall. Spin him around. That's what I flip him. I go, fellas, fellas. Yeah, 
does. <laughs> Nate's just foremaning the whole thing. He's just the foreman. He's like, back it up. Over. Oh, there it is. There's the wall beep, of death. Beep. Oh, too bad you can't oh, say shit. Christine, I'll text you a picture of Nate that Samantha Pitchell took, which is one of my favorite pictures, where Nate looks like he's got some sort of messiah, like, messiah complex, because he's just standing in the middle with his hands open like this. Well, I've had several other situations with Nate where he doesn't see, like, I gotta say one thing about Nate, individual. Does not go with the group. <laughs> no. Oh. He does not believe in going with the group. So when ah, everyone gets, look at that, look at that. Louis, Louis when everyone splits into the, when everyone splits into the wall of death, Nate doesn't have a thing that's like, ah, oh, maybe I should pick a side. Nate goes like, oh, I'll hang out in the middle. What do I choose both there sides? <laughs> <laughs> I've overthought that yeah. all, all weekend. I can't, I, I, I've thought about this a lot because as soon as that wall of death started, I got really scared. I legit got scared and was like, we should get out of here. I've overthought that Nate was like, no, this is what I'm looking for in life. I think it's his teeth. Oh. I think that he's got good teeth. Great. He's not afraid of losing them. Oh. And so, like, I, I've been, I've been thinking about this more than you fucking know. Cause I, that energy, I don't like, here's why. I don't like the phrase, I don't like when, uh, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter gets stale. Something. Like, you know, Twitter does like, uh, Tiger Woods fucks up and then they're like, hold my beer. You know? Yeah. That phrase, I don't like that phrase. But when Nate actually did it to me and said, hold my beer. It jarred you? It, it, I can't tell you. I've thought about this more than you. It makes me. So do you think? Do you think Nate just walks through life like a Hollywood stuntman, where he goes like, where they're like, oh, we, someone's got to climb outside the plane to free us, and Nate he has goes, no fear of it. Nate goes, hey, uh, real quick, give my favorite Vandy hat to my nephew. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> it was the fucking greatest. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, call your mother and tell her I'm dead. Oh. Why your why? mother? Yeah, yeah well, why would I call She'll my get mom? Get like, She'll get it. Was that you? <laughs> tell her to then call my mom. <laughs> Your mom should call my mom. But then I, saw, I saw Nate after it, and I go, did you get out of that? And he's like, no, nah, man, that hurt real bad. <laughs> that was the first it thing. It was a lot. Dude, I remember my heart was, like, pounding. Hundreds and, of people like, closed uh, in on you. They, yeah, they closed in hard. And uh, <laughs> I like to think that they at least knew I was there, so they were like, let's not no, they didn't kill care. him. <laughs> oh, it's Oh my oh, god! Maybe it wasn't as good. I thought you were gonna squirt up like one of those things. They I think sell I got hit. You can't grab. I thought you were just gonna squirt out yeah. the top. I, I think yeah. I got hit with uh, one side, but I remember then immediately hit by the other side. So then I was like, kind of just straight. <laughs> like it was almost good to be in the middle because then I was like, oh, I'll just kind of bounce back and forth. <laughs> I've been in a, between the middle. <laughs> I was in a mosh pit Slipknot once, and not on purpose. Like the entire place turned into one, and I was like, my feet were off. The, it was crazy. That was scary. That's what you're most scared of is like your knees getting taken out. Like, yeah. you're just like, uh, so I was like watching for that, yeah. When we were at Bonnaroo two years ago, Ari <laughs> Oni was good looking. for me. You know, Oni that was with us, he helped. He yeah. helped me. Like, Oni he was friend. like, I just kind of stayed with him. Oh, he and was he, your... He was like the guy, yeah, he's going to make sure I didn't die. So He was like, like the guy you go parachuting with yeah. that's who, attached who? to your back? Yeah. A fan <laughs> of Omi. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. The best was seeing at Comedy Jam, the best was DeRosa would not tell anybody what song he was doing. <laughs> and then he was walking around like a stressed out artist, like it was like his moment. And I'm like, Joe, you're all right? And you go, I had too much to drink. I don't know if I could sing this song. I, I was gonna and say I go, that. what What song are you singing? And he goes, I can't. And then he steps away and he goes, I had the time of my life from Dirty Dancing. And then he walks away and I was like, I, I didn't even chance to go like, you're going to do great. He's just gone. He's it, just fits, in. it fits so perfectly. I would have never picked that song to sing, but it was the it was, end of I was, Fest. It was so unbelievable. Perfect. It came to me. Like a vision. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving my car in LA. I was in my car and I was driving somewhere and, uh, it came on the radio and I was just like, ah, oh, this song is ass. And then like it hit the chorus and I was like, eh, this chorus is kind of catchy, man. And then. It went into the sax solo, and I just immediately saw Jeremiah playing the saxophone oh, yeah. solo, uh, and I started laughing so hard in my car, and I was like, I, I ca immediately called Josh. I go, I got to come back to the comedy gym and do this, and then my next thought was, I can't tell Jay <laughs> if Jay's there. I got to keep it secret, and then Christine called me and was like, can you do comedy gym in New York? And I was like, oh, oh can, can I? I? <laughs> so we have it I was at, the bon it. at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Facebook. But on Twitter, we just retweeted Jeremiah Watkins playing sax on Joe's performance of Dirty Dancing at Skank Well, Fest. this is this will be nice to see because I have no recollection of this performance. Can I tell you what? At you, all? Can I tell you what you did that I liked? What you made it your own? Yeah. You didn't try. 
try to. Yeah. You just, that's, yeah, that's, what yeah. that's what was happening. That's what was happening. He was making it his own. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just I sat back. What you mean. I sat yeah. backstage. <laughs> I sat backstage like a producer, just being like, he's got it. He was like, Dan, I'm too drunk to sing this song. I'll just go up there and make it my own. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 it turned into like a punk. It, it did. did. It well, that a, was their idea. I didn't. I can't take credit for that. Oh, okay. That was the band's idea. But, uh, <laughs> but I was backstage. Uh, that's my. That's gonna be my catchphrase to everyone now. You made it your own. But <laughs> it's just a nice way to, of not saying it was shitty. <laughs> I was literally. Gonna try. How was my set tonight? I made it your own. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, did you see my Conan set? I go. Yeah. It was all you. It was all you. <laughs> uh, it was. Yeah, I was talking to you about this last night. I was like, I don't remember a goddamn. I don't remember a goddamn bar of this. I thought no one was. Gonna, no one would have got it, but I was gonna go up while they were doing the end of the song, like the outro, and just go. uh I know you weren't the one who got Penny in trouble. <laughs> when I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. Uh, and they go, that's great. You were wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that? Because no one would have got it. Oh, yeah. dude, everybody would have got it. That's I, hilarious. I can tell you I would not have got it. <laughs> uh, I did not get it right now. As I, it uh, <laughs> I got off stage and uh people were like, oh, my God, that was so funny. Jay dancing behind you. I was like... I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> I did the whole, I did the whole thing when, they, when, they, when he comes up behind, he's like, dun, 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 oh, I, love, I was doing it all. It's like, I don't know, Jack, right? Don't be afraid I, to lose control. Where I was going to beers, by the way. I don't know. I think oh, he sent a black guy out to get him. He's no. drinking them all. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so great if, he, if, if fucking Lou 2 comes back in half in the bag and he goes, here's three Coronas. Sorry, I stopped at a barbecue in Central Park. He just yeah. brings three limes, no Coronas. You're like, no, that's not the... He goes, right. here's my child support. Wrong person. You're not the person I child support to. Oh, shit. I gave my ex-wife beer. I gave you guys my child support. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, oh, she just met you downstairs. Yeah, that's where we meet. I was just telling Nate, uh, we were just at a bar before we came over here. Jesus, fuck. And, uh, hey, hey, what are you guys? Hey, my wife's you? listening, and I just told her we were not. Well, I'll tell you where we're definitely not a bar. That's what I just said. <laughs> All you said? <laughs> to her. And then Joe DeRosa. Well, I didn't All say you were I told her I love her very much. I didn't I say you were drinking. Thing. I just said we were inside yeah, of a we bar. Yeah, we were outside but of it. Oh. Well, uh, maybe I shouldn't tell this story. Oh, I want to hear it now. Make it, <laughs> make it a <laughs> tell. Suck by three it's a chicks. very, it's a very, it's not even a story, but I, I said this to Nate earlier. I go, uh, I was going to try to not drink this week in New York. <laughs> and, uh, Grigioni, I was still enjoying Grigioni, our friend, uh, that, and she goes, yeah, right, dude, what are you fucking nuts? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to drink in New York. And I called her today and I go, literally the first two people I saw when I walked to this gang fest were Nate and Bert Kreischer. And I was like, <laughs> there's just not even a chance. <laughs> when I walked in, when I walked in and I saw Nate and Nate was already he was killing beers, I was like, oh. I was like, I, that's my pace car. So if I, if I can stay just under Nate, I'll be fine. Come it in. was a real drinking event. Christine's starting AA today. <laughs> yeah. That's not even a joke. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, and then, yeah, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna see how it goes, and then I'll follow her. Yeah. <laughs> Nate's oh. gonna ask which meeting she likes. I guess so what? Gonna, what they like? Do they judge it? Do they drink there? Do they not drink? Nate, uh, on, Nate on Sunday when I I was there early and I came back and I see Nate and he's like got this energy about him. I'm like, how you doing? He goes, oh, I'm coming in hot. Four bloody Marys. And I was like, wow. <laughs> you got into a fight in the park. Parking lot of a prize fight. <laughs> <laughs> Nate's picking it fights was, with the fans. Uh, you, knew, I, you knew what it was going to be. Like you, you knew, like you know, you knew what this week was going to. You didn't want to disappoint. Good description. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Are you selling I deodorant? Or? Seven, anyway, seventy, seventy, eighty-five degrees. Now. <laughs> it's, the weather's really up and down. Um, let's take our first break. We have a bunch of fun stuff we could talk about here. We're waiting on our beers. Black Lou should be back any hour. <laughs> Oh. And uh that's right, we're having the time of our lives right here. It's the bonfire. Now oh, damn it, four days a week. I was gonna try to get it out. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. That's Master Killer, we'll talk right over him. Comedy Central Radio Series 6 of 95, this is the Bonfire. Big J. Okerson, Dan Soda, we had a full house today. Hanging out, Nate Bargatze, Joe DeRosa, the great Bert Kreischer is all here. It's uh, 32 degrees up that's real. <laughs> 32 degrees it's Celsius. Down. It's real up and down today out there. The, uh, it's all over the place. Over the now place. the traffic is a temp tunnel empty. Empty. <laughs> Can't get anybody to go through it. We're trying. We're trying. You please use yeah. the tunnel if you can. <laughs> can I, I 
can tell this joke on air. It's Rocco's. We are we doing our act now? <laughs> no. Is that what we're all doing? We're doing our act? No, our friend, our friend Rocco, <laughs> Brian Stowe, who's a very sober man these days uh, for many years, but he had a joke about when he first went to AA because he went in and they came out again. And his, his bit was, he goes, he goes, I'm sitting in the meeting. These people are getting up like... Uh, Drove my car off a bridge. <laughs> I, I spent all my kids' college money on cocaine. I was just like, I just fucked a couple fat chicks, man. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. You, said you, you said you used to uh, Rocco when you'd go to his house and he was drinking in the morning. He would get up and talk to his first beer. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he would come out. He'd walk out. Doing? He lived with his girlfriend. In, I at missed the time. you. Hold yeah, on. I do this would, by the way. <laughs> yeah. He would come out. He would come out. You're about like to fuck Margaret Cho. He'd get a Bud Light out of the fridge. He'd sit down in his in his tidy whities with his t-shirt, and he would have the bottle, and he would go, he'd go, "Hey, buddy, I missed you, pal. <laughs> How you been?" And he would talk to it. He it. said when the other beer commercial would come on TV, he goes, "No, I'm not looking at it. I'm a for you. I'm just looking." <laughs> so I got fun. caught. I got caught talking to my ficus one uh, night. My wife came out. I was fucking high shit. And you're super drunk. And what's I had a these, bike? The plant? They're trees. Oh. And I had planted four of them. This is the first thing I did when I bought that house was planting these four Are they ficus. talking ficuses? <laughs> no. no. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Is that where... Fucking ficus! <laughs> and I was so high because I have this one on the end that is, has a hard time growing. And I was talking to the other ones, telling them to take care of him, to give him some sun every now oh. and then. <laughs> and my wife came out. Oh, by the way, I was in a Speedo. <laughs> and she was like, what's wrong with you? And all I can say is, this is why you don't get Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> yeah. That was Bert? your word store? This is why you don't get Matthew McConaughey? I don't know Bert, that. despite <laughs> all the drunken behavior I've seen you exhibit, that story is going to make me say, you're a fucking disgrace. <laughs> Dude, I went, to an AA I went to an AA meeting one time, and uh, this guy I went with is a handler for Hollywood stars. And, uh, and my wife had dumped me when we were dating. And he was like, man, just come to me. See if it, you know, see if anything makes sense. So I go to the meeting and he's like, you should say something. You should stand up and say something. And I was like, okay. In a, in a weird way as a comic, I was like, yeah, I do want to stay. I'm like, <laughs> guy in front of me stands up. Hey, my name's Victor. I'm an alcoholic. Everyone's like, hello, Victor. He's like, oh, today was a rough day. I sucked my landlord's dick and then lit his car on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to lose cut. weight. All you this had guy's to say, going blue. It's the fucking cheat man's comedy. Yeah. All you had to say was stand up and just go, they based the movie Van Wilder on me. Yeah, and yeah. that would have been like, that would have been the or, fucking shut it down. Or, or, like, or you could have stood up and gone, hello, my name is Victor. Yeah, that would have been like, what hey, are like you? This guy had a bad day. I had a great day. I'm his yeah. landlord. Yeah. Folks. Yeah. Yeah. I raised the rent. I raised the rent. <laughs> <laughs> folks. <laughs> folks, I'm telling you. The rent. Uh, I, People, is this thing even on? I mean, right. hello. I had a rough day. I got took so a drunk in the chops. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> I got so drunk, I let one of my tenants blow me. Go, <laughs> oh, And by the way, way, there's that toothy son goes, of a bitch right now. He goes, in the real twist, I'm not even the landlord. I'm the super. Good night. All right. I can't you do here. anything for your rent. <laughs> Dummy. Yeah. I'm here to fix the sink. And you ended up sucking me. <laughs> He's blowing me. I don't even want to. He just came there to brag. He's not even like, he goes, I'm, I'm fine with drinking. Goes, I just came here to let you know. Can I just tell you? Crushing it. Yeah, I can have two beers and walk away. Yeah. Also, that dude blew me. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, Jay, Jay, Jay. Remember this? We used to do this. When guys, guys building up to the shitty misdirection. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Go, uh, and he goes, since you're my landlord, and I go, your landlord. <laughs> I'm not the landlord. I just come here for the blow job. You know, we used to that for uh, we used to that for a comics joke. The joke was just a basic like misdirection of a. Uh, he was ever with my girlfriend for ten years, but it only feels like ten minutes. Ten minutes. Underwater, and then so me and Joe would do that more particularly, where we would go up. Get up and do it, please. Dude. Yeah, yeah, we go. So I like that joke. We go. He goes. I'm not gonna lie. This is good writing. Yeah. He goes. He goes. Hey guys, I've been with my girlfriend for about ten years. He goes, but honestly, it only feels like ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh boy. Ten minutes. <laughs> 
Under 10 minutes. Are you all ready? Water! Water, water, water. Is this just raining on the crowd over him? Yeah! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Ooh, the hard sell. Oh, Ten minutes. Ah, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Ten I minutes. Do it. I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking got naked. Oh, shit. Now it's a real I show. I forgot how fucking funny I thought. I that want was. us all to take turns doing it. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Can I start over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, refocus yourself. Yeah. I forgot the joke. All right, here, hold on. I'll go, then you go. You go, you all go. Right, yeah, you right. go, then I go. Yeah, no. I, uh, you know, I've been, I've been living with my girlfriend about uh, 10 years, but it only feels like 10 minutes. I know why! I'm going to turn into a fire yeah. falcon and fly away. I just, uh, I just, uh, I had a shit joke. I had a real shitty joke we used to make that a shitty misdirection used to make fun of. Where I go, uh, I go, you know, I, I I got fired from my wait. I, I worked in an old age. I worked in a nursing home, and I got fired for giving an old man a bath. And I said, "What's the big deal?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. well, I'm just a janitor. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Janitor, 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 janitor. Oh, yeah, I got one. I'll, I'm doing my own Mr. Rush's one. Let's all go back to our early yeah, comedy. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I got a good one. <laughs> So I uh, go to this all-black school. I used to get uh, bothered by people a lot, you know, and uh, one guy was just picking on me one day, and I couldn't take it anymore, and finally I turned around and I said, let me tell you something. Ah, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You may be the... Principal here, <laughs> but I deserve an education. <laughs> principal, principal, principal. I tell you, you know, living in uh, living in Tucson, it's pretty crazy. The stuff that these homeless people come up with, you know. I told, told, told the guy, the guy told me he got attacked by Godzilla. I walked away. I gave him some change. I walked away two blocks. I realized Godzilla doesn't live in Tucson. <laughs> <laughs> Lives in Tokyo! <laughs> Tokyo! 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 Holy shit. How about, the, how about the basic, the most basic of all of them? Is the, uh, <laughs> so I'm having some money troubles. Uh, I had to talk to my landlord today. So I called, uh, I called her up and I said, hey, <laughs> you son of a bitch. I said, hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the it looks like the guy's getting angry at him. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, you're gonna make me say it, you motherfucker! <laughs> oh, you fucks! You're gonna make me do this! Why you make me do this to you?" My uh, first, uh, my first shit. joke I put into my like uh, when I started doing my comedy was like that, where it's like brutal. It's it's embarrassing. But I am delivered this tone of my, uh, to be like, give an educated Yeah, you have here's one. The, no, no, this is the tone. So I'm an educated guest. So educated. Huh? I don't <laughs> Wait, even what? get it. Wow. I'm not done with it. You try I like, I'm not done with it. He's doing the no, I know. Whereas, I was doing, y'all didn't give me time to do the thing. Oh, you're, you're so relaxed that I'm like, yeah, this talking. audience is not good. We'd How about that? I mean, the crowd's terrible. Did That's you not a, see the whole point of the thing was the flair yeah. behind it? <laughs> yeah, my flair is calmer. Okay. Your flair is my breathing flare through is, your nose? <laughs> my flair is to get the crowd involved and they start talking. Apparently like this is happening. <laughs> Maybe this is guy guys, I am a professional comedian hey, and I'm supposed to be called psychopath. <laughs> you, I think we that was the whole joke and checked out on it. We're almost like nigga, you're supposed to take a break in between. I was doing my break, it was a quiet I break. I went like this. Hey, this, is, this is brutal. <laughs> I know, y'all said we're doing bad jokes and I mine's the worst. So like I we're, we're all I thought we were in a safe place that so we're all being fun and like you guys would be loud and 
there's 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 sound y'all play. I have uh, 25 I have degrees two. outside right now. Oh my <laughs> These god, are the first it's dropping. Two jokes I ever wrote. I want you, please, I want you to do them. Yeah. The what? The These kid. are my first two jokes I ever wrote ever in comedy. I'm going to tell them both to you. And I, I, know. Want, what if you, I want you to do them. You still in do them now. I'll so just do, do it want? regular and then please do sure. it. Hey, let's All right, do here. Shot. Let's do the shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking half cup of tequila. A lot of tequila. Yeah. That's a lot of tequila. Oh, hey. Hey. I know, hey, by right. the way, this is, you know. All right. Okay, we're good. Jay, ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. The first first joke I ever wrote. I bet if you just give me the, the beginning of it, I could do it. I <laughs> caught I caught my parents having sex the other day, which was very embarrassing. Because they were embarrassed because I caught them. I was embarrassed. No. You need it? Yeah. Because they can totally see my erection. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, I think you should still joke do it. I, ever wrote. <laughs> I think you still do it. That's not a bad joke. <laughs> not a bad joke. I'd bring it back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Jay's starting. So, uh... <laughs> I, uh... Let me video, let me video, David. Yeah, let me video. Favorite thing we've ever done. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, you really are... You reimagine them in a different way. <laughs> Holy shit. You're like Tim Burton, but with jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you just He's do a it. joke whisperer. He goes, I'll fix it. Go, go, my joke's what not about, really working. Go, we want a big J <laughs> yeah. take on a traditional, how did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> do you think you could work one up? So, uh, hey gang, I, uh, <laughs> recently called my parents having sex. Oh. If you can imagine that. And uh, it was embarrassing, embarrassing for all of us, embarrassing for them, of course, embarrassing for me because I'm seeing my parents have sex, and of course, uh, embarrassing for them because, uh... <laughs> oh, embarrassing for them. Why do you think it is, back row? Why, why, why? You can totally why? see my erection. And then you still have like five more minutes. Yeah. Like, like, I don't know if this is good uh, radio, but it's a great hang. Oh, oh, yeah. a great time. This might be the favorite right. barbecue game I've ever. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it's probably audio wise. Please, dog please shit. do this other one. Please do this other one. This oh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the first joke I ever wrote. Uh, but real quick, can we also see that Joe's clearly just trying to brag about his structure and his joke? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Joe, goes, Guy goes, Joe, Joe goes, seriously, this is like the first thing I ever thought of comedically. It's I know. Just it's, it's weird. Dishes. It just like popped yeah. in my head. Whatever. I didn't even write that. A lot of guys out of the gates don't have like a three. Here, yeah. misdirection <laughs> joke, but yeah. uh, this joke, this I joke, joke is, I'm, pre you, I'm premise set up punchline to Rosa. This you. joke is truly terrible. Yeah, I can tell you, I'm not impressed with the second one, so I don't know if I want to hear the first one. Oh, this first one's real bad, but you're gonna, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> I go, uh, I go, I was getting, I was getting forward. a blow job. I was getting a blow job under an underpass for a prostitute the other day, and after I finished, she said. Can uh, can you give me a ride home? And I said, three dollars for a blowjob and a ride. Who's the fucking prostitute here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay, let's see it. Oh, I can't wait to see what Jay's gonna do with this. <laughs> or who's the whore here? Oh, yeah. So uh. <laughs> Because they've already Michael heard you have watched your parents have sex, so they've already heard that. <laughs> no, no, that's the that second was the joke. Opener. That was the opener. <laughs> was that? And this is, I think, yeah, no. You, everyone knows you do personal. Right, let me, let me come personal off, material first. Yeah. Let me come involved. off. Let me come off the uh, autobiographical here. Okay. Sir. He goes, no, no, but seriously, folks. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my parents. Uh, that didn't really happen. I'll tell you something that did happen the other day. I, uh, I was getting a blow job <laughs> from a prostitute under an overpass. When she finishes up, she says uh, to me, hey, can I have a ride home? I go, $3 for a blowjob and a ride home? And a ride home? Oh, 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 oh. oh I know what you're thinking. Who's the prostitute? He Damn, there's so many. J jokes to do. Please. <laughs> this is my favorite thing that's ever happened. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Bert, give him a shitty. What are your early jokes? Uh, 
Do, I, do we, I, I never wrote a joke. Do do, yeah. You can do I'm one. ending this Facebook thing. Do one from your last special. The hardest <laughs> thing. Oh, my God, dude. I'm crying, dude. I'm laughing so hard. I'm fucking crying. Do the hardest. Uh, one of my hardest laughs in life is so revolved around Burt Kreischer, and it was very early in our friendship. Yeah. And you know exactly what it is. 100%. We were driving down. I think I know what it is, too. Yeah, we were we driving. We another shot of tequila, by the way. Um, we were going from uptown to downtown. We were coming out Fifth Avenue. I don't know why it just sticks in my head, but I was very frustrated because I was living with Metzger, who was not a good roommate. What? And uh, believe it or not. What? Carl was you, what, what, was the, what was worse, the night terrors or the filth? <laughs> I was going to say, just lapping I don't know what was worse. Things. The night terrors <laughs> or... <laughs> or <laughs> oh, no. Wait, hang on. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that yet. But Burt Kreischer, how hard... Because I was... You know what? When you tell a story to someone, you're and you're frustrated, yeah. and you're not looking for the funny in it, and then someone finds it, and you were like, "Oh wow, and that's I have all this tension built up here for anger," mm -hmm. and then like it unloads in the laughter. Yeah, and that was Bert. So when Kurt was my roommate, the Carla's entire pregnancy, they had two sickly, dying. Hey, the cats. fact that you had a roommate. And you're saying like, and you're pregnant, it's like your birth, like those, oh, yeah. like they just go together. You're like, so our roommate, we're about to have a baby, and our roommate, oh, yeah. oh yeah, so our, yeah, the yeah. guy, the one that everyone knows so is pretty set unstable. The, yeah, set the scene. The one that just everyone reacted to. My clearly girl's here. We're about to have a baby. My roommate walks. In. I would say my girlfriend's at the most vulnerable of her yeah. pregnancy. <laughs> Anyways, back to my terrible roommate. So. Kurt, they have these awful cats, and you're not supposed to have cats around you at all when you're pregnant, let alone very sick ones that throw up every day. Wait, what? That's a real thing? You're not supposed oh, to have cats? No. I'm serious. I had to change the litter box the whole time Liam was pregnant with Georgia and with Isla, and I'm allergic to cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to be around them yeah, at all. Yeah, they, yeah, I think they make your kids uh, superhuman. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> cat people? You can have thunder cats? I'm fucking, I'm fucking hammered right Lino, now. This is Lino and Panthor, my ch my children. I don't know why. I just pictured, I just pictured uh, like a, one of those Shaq presents stand up comedy shows, <laughs> and I pictured a black comic on stage with you in the front row. Burt Garrett's in your man. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cat people this motherfucker done father. <laughs> I don't know why. I just pictured that. I love black comic transitions are my favorite thing in the world. He goes, goes now y'all thinking, if that's the way rag your motherfuckers eat pussy, y'all about to get down with Lil Duval way eating that pussy. <laughs> oh, shit. They tell the Lil whole joke Duvall. before it's done. Lil Duvall. Dude, that's my favorite comedy set on television ever is Lil yeah, Duval on All-Star Comedy Jam. It is. Is it funny? Uh -huh. Oh, no, I mean, not. <laughs> DeRosa. What? Yeah. I don't know if you know. Yeah, it's a blast. Yeah, it's great. It was, I, uh, I, we were saying, we're about to talk about how it's under he's, got, he's got an yeah. apostrophe in his name. Dude, he's, wearing, he's, wearing, he's, wearing, he's wearing a diamond-encrusted, fully functioning top seat toilet bowl around his neck. So, yeah, it's funny. So, it's great. Oh, that's awesome. I, that oh. is amazing. I don't want this show to end. I don't the want this show to end. He goes, yeah, he's a blast. <laughs> that's what he said. He goes, oh, yeah, it's a good time. Jay and I started at the Laugh Factory in Philly. Laugh House. Or Laugh House, excuse me, in Philly. And, uh, and it was a predominantly black club. And there were a, a, a million really fucking hilarious guys, but everybody... Then there, but there were also terrible ones, and all the terrible ones seemed to have nicknames. Oh, yeah. So Jay used to do this impression. Like Big Jay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Like Big Jay. That was very like, calculated from uh, the beginning, because they would Metzger. fuck up people's names. <laughs> yeah. But we... <laughs> But Jay would do this impression of like what it was like to host at the ha Laugh House. <laughs> you go on stage and be like, "All right, everybody, you having a good time? All right, uh, give it up for uh, Grenade Face. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh. Keep it going for Snoogins, <laughs> Snoochie. <laughs> Dude, they are the worst names. And it's funny. Some of them are really funny, but Beefy Funny. What a hilariously bad name, but funny guy. The that sounds like a, a translation. I worked with the funny. damn fool, damn TV, fool damn in fool. in uh, Michigan, uh, and I, I go, bro, you're hilarious. He's like, oh, thanks. I go, hey, lose the fucking name, okay, damn right. fool. And he goes, why? I said, because no white person will ever buy a ticket to see you when your name's damn fool. You know, uh, we got. Tickets. I want to go back. Uh, We're going to the performance center tonight in Minneapolis. We're gonna go see damn fool. I want to go back to the uh, grenade face is open. <laughs> <laughs> well, I dude, I want to go back to the to the Kurt story, but but uh, oh, yeah, also yeah, say, sorry, dude, Kurt. One of the funniest things me and Kurt ever had happen was far as like. People in that black circuit not getting the ridiculousness of like the stupid stage names was uh, we were in doing a club in Boca once, me and Kurt, and they get, let a guy do a guest spot. He wore a zoot suit. Yeah. 
Uh, he was a local mailman, and they let him do it because he flyers with the mail. Like he puts a flyer in your mailbox. That's so funny. That's yeah, fucking what a, genius. Yeah, so, they yeah. do, so they let him do a, a guest spot. His yeah. name was like, it, I forget, it was like one of those one word names or whatever. And, uh, so man, it should have been the mailman. Out, oh, man, he yeah. comes out. Yeah. Not the mailman. He, he comes, comes out by something else. He's like, I'm fire. And they like, get up for fire, then you just 40 minutes of mailman. Yeah, it's all like, the mailman. That's how I start I don't the, know a lot about comedy, but I think you should just go by the mailman. Are <laughs> y'all ready for your next comedian? Keep it going for a chocolate werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes out in a suit and he goes, hey man, I'm a, I'm a mailman. <laughs> you go, why the fuck are you doing that? Fuck about being a werewolf. I wanted a werewolf. Why would you talk about I want to do werewolf jokes. I thought a couple moon jokes. A couple waking up in torn clothes. God damn you, I knew you wouldn't do werewolf jokes. Wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> I think it'd be funny if he was a mailman and came out with his, his nickname was another government position. Yeah, he goes, keep it going for... Jimmy the sanitation worker. Oh, so, hey, going. y'all, I'm a mailman. Keep, oh. it hey, keep it going for Ronnie DMV. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up and goes, oh, anyway, I've been a mailman for 35 years. <laughs> and then they got uh, foiled again. <laughs> keep it going for Dr. Department of Power and Water. <laughs> You'd be like... Like the reviews are like, they talk about power and water. You're like, you'd be surprised. He does not. Uh, you know what's we, all, all, all you stuff. thought he would. I thought I went because I love power, water, material. All pussy and I jokes. got none of it. And He's I thought, filthy. well, that's why is that his name? But when that guy got off stage, uh, that mailman, like you saw him, Kurt, he goes, yeah, man. He goes, thinking about moving out of Florida, man. Hit one of the scenes. And, uh. Kirk goes, well, like L.A. or New York? And he goes, Hot Atlanta. Yeah. And we go, I don't know if Atlanta's got a scene. And then Kirk goes, yeah, he goes, Kirk starts laughing. And he goes, oh, my God. He goes, what shitty one-name comic told you you should move to Atlanta? And he goes, Tomahawk. And he goes, oh. And he starts laughing. And the guy goes, oh, y'all know Tomahawk? Like, no, we don't know him, you fucking doof. Oh, no, I remember. Tomahawk. And then he started going, there was a dude at the Laugh House, and he's a, he was a good guy. Like to this day, if I ran into him, I'd be I'd be genuinely happy to see the guy. But uh, his he, his stage name was Authentic. That's great. <laughs> and I didn't. I want to be. Uh, yeah, that's I all be, I knew him by. If I could be a white guy that followed him, I'd be knockoff. Yeah, yeah. To be dude. authentic, and I'd be like, "Hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, I'm knockoff." But Joe, we, tell the Trump card story about Sun Seven Two. I mean, that's one of my favorite things. Oh, yeah. ever. Okay, what? so so uh, so real quick, authentic. Uh, he was, we were friends, like, we, we were friends, but I only knew him by his stage name. And we got into a fucking, like, argument about politics one night at the bar. <laughs> and it got heated, and we were, like, yelling at each other. And he's like, no, man, y'all, y'all don't know what the fuck you talking about, man. Cause you, you see, white motherfuckers always come with the same bullshit, right? And he's screaming at me, and I go, fuck you, dude, don't give me that fucking, listen. Tell me your real fucking name right now, because I'm not screaming authentic at you across this bar. (laughs) Authentic! Yeah. Authentic. No. Oh, oh, no, that's... we're going to finish this conversation. Oh, going, get yeah. off me. I'm he talking goes... to authentic. Yeah. Yeah. And he goes, it's Tony, man. Listen, <laughs> you don't know the fuck you talking about. The... <laughs> he just jumps right back in. Wait, what's the sun? I, I just said that I knew it because I felt dumb that I didn't know it. What's the uh, sun? I'll, I'll, I'll please tell it. Tell it. Please, I don't, I don't remember. His name was uh, Sun 725. Sun 752. 752. Yes. I remember that. So his closing bit, apparently, <laughs> was uh, he just did a mock of... Um, Jeff, uh, was it Jeff Foxworthy's You Might Be a Redneck If, which happened a lot in the black circuit. You might be a whatever if, you might be, uh, you know, you might be hood if you this, you right, might be, right. and, do, and do a whole bunch of those jokes. Yeah. His thing, he goes, let me tell you something. He goes, I ain't, ra- I ain't see race like that. He goes, I'm not going to say you might be black if, I'm going to say you might be exposed to the sun. He goes, so, <sighs> that's the same voice saying black. So he'd be like, oh he goes, so it's all those like shitty ones. Like, you know, if you got a screen door with no screen in it, you might be exposed to the sun. If you got roaches, you know them niggas names, you may be exposed to the sun. And he just like ate of those. And at the end he goes, so one more, but he's like, yeah. he's like, if y'all uh, cook your cheeseburgers and your baby bottles in the same pot, y'all might be exposed to the sun. Hey, and y'all just been exposed to the sun. 752. <laughs> and he just walks off the stage. I forgot about that, man. Y'all just been exposed to the sun. I, 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 I was at Mike Vecchione when they brought uh, when they Nick, know Vecchione's name. Oh, uh, well, Nick Novicki does that perfect the 752. Oh, dude, I have, I have, I have the best Nick Novicki story ever. Go. Our friend, Nick Novicki, uh, comedian, 
Uh, he's been on the show. He's no, on the show it, in the back, oh, in the background once when you were in L.A. Oh, yeah. No, no, he, now, that's I, the, the worst. He, like, no, he came down. He's friends with Nate. Nate's been on the this show. This is absolutely uh, the best Nick Novicki story ever. So he gets on stage one night, and I will not repeat the words of the bit because it does make me very uncomfortable. Did we acknowledge he's a midget? He's, he's a, a very, he's a little well, person. A yeah. Little, yeah. So yeah. he gets on, well, there. that's. Yeah, you're right. We should have probably lived with he's a little person. That's what the bit's about. So he gets on stage at the Laugh House. And dude, I don't mean like, oh, it's oh a he black... drops the, he drops the end bomb. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. I, I don't mean like, oh, it's a black club, like, b- black people went, I mean, it's it like a, like a fucking, it's hip hop. North Philly, like, hood Def yeah. Jam. Like, this was like a, it was a rough room, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gets on stage and does this six minute bit. It, and by the way, it's an open mic, so that's all he has is six minutes. Yeah. About how saying the word midget is like saying the N-word to black people. Oh, boy. And, dude, it is bombing in a fucking way that I can't even explain to you right now. And I'm in the back with two Ray Gordon, who basically Love was like my mentor, yeah, basically, yeah. and Jay's, you know. And uh he's just going, two Ray's just, he's not offended, but he's just shaking his head and he's going, God damn, man. Yeah. <laughs> and it is just, it is bombing dude and he is committing to it in a way that i can't even because he thinks he's like saying something very righteous he's yeah. like you know i'm telling y'all i'm telling you all and it's changing lives it's up there man black yeah. people in the audience <laughs> that's the audience. your little person voice <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, that story stunk i but believe anyway, was waiting uh, for that to go somewhere I, I, yeah, yeah exactly. so anyway. well, my, i've got an excuse well, sorry but, after like, uh, uh, a half <laughs> glass of tequila <laughs> and, uh, not as so sharp Jay as i was driving from the upper east side Yes, we should go back to Kurt. Yeah, yeah let's do, Dude, let's uh, do this. Kurt is my favorite. He's my, like, almost like Ari in mm-hmm. a different way. Yeah. yeah they're both right. autistic. No, we're good. Yeah, they're, they, yeah they, they really don't know what they're doing. They don't get it at all. Dude, my, uh, Tell, my, I love them both. My, my daughter fell and broke all her top teeth Jeez. and her jaw oh a long time God. ago. Oh, I know. That's funny, dude. Dude. Long, long time ago. She, yeah, I feel like she's what like 11. Bummer. You're like, it was forever ago. Birch. She's 11 years old. Like You're like, 13. it can't be that long ago. Birch, like, Birch yeah. druggies open it up. Yeah, yeah. Birch, Birch ah, goes like this. Yeah, daughter broke all her teeth. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Everybody's still <laughs> crying. Birch doesn't have a shirt on. He doesn't even realize he's... my house from me. He doesn't even realize he's on the show. He's just staring down at his feet. He goes, I watched my daughter fall. I didn't say nothing. Just made myself another drink. <laughs> We're going. Can I, oh God! Can I ask you a question? Emergency room is going to cut me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know ever, what? I, when, I, when I took her to the when I took her to the ER, when they admitted her, I went in the car and had a road soda. <laughs> road soda. <laughs> yeah. You know where I thought I found God in a foxhole. <laughs> <laughs> Truth be told, that's where I found the devil. <laughs> but yeah, let me uh, say. So me and Bert are driving downtown, and I was living with Kurt. <laughs> I never even told my arm. Terrible roommate. <laughs> Terrible roommate, Kurt. Uh, Horrible. These cats, sickly, they're awful. Now, when Kurt has to move, <laughs> this makes me so frustrated because these cats, were, every time we'd be like, hey, guys, you might have to get rid of these cats. Like, they're so sick and they're outside and they're just in bad shape. No, they're get good. No, that means they're getting in shape when the hair starts coming out in clumps. You want to get rid of our pets? Like, you want me to, you want me to do that? Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> so he's going on complaining about it forever. And then when they move out the first day, I go, where are you staying, man? He goes, uh, he goes I, I got a place in Brooklyn, but there's no pets allowed. So we went down to my mom's house. I thought he was going to say we gave my mom the cats. He goes, yeah, he goes, yeah we went out to the woods, and uh, we just, like, set the cats free. Like, Is that kittens free in the woods? <laughs> and then Bert cry- and I'm so angry at this, and I go, this motherfucker sets them free in the woods. <laughs> After, I- I'm not even thinking of how ridiculous of a cunt. He goes, he goes Bert starts laughing. I go, what? He's like, he's like, no. <laughs> They're already dead. And then he goes, and just the picturing of, and, and, and Burke goes, picturing Metzger in the woods doing that, like, that sad old the white, was like, Yeah, the was white fang like, thing. He's like, get out of here, you stupid ugly cat. I hate you so much. He picks up a stick. And he goes, you. get out of here. And the cat's like, he goes, no, I hate you so much. He get goes, away from me. No, no, shut up. Thank you. Thank you. Stop. Thank you. you. Get out of here. Don't look at me, stupid cat. Whatever. Get out of here, you ugly cat. You, ugly, you ugly cat. 
<laughs> when I lived with you in Queens, you told me that story years before I met Bert Kreischer. So when I finally met Bert, I was like, oh, you're the stupid cat guy. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, oh that's cat. so funny. Dude, that's the Rosa, so, the my, my favorite my favorite roommate, DeRosa story is DeRosa brought a girl home one time, and in the morning we saw a cup that she had, like, she was like a cancer survivor, and she had a fucking suction cup nipple. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. saying, she in has water. to leave it in water. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Okay, we got to take a break. Jacob keeps making the snapping hey, signal. She had a fucking tits slapped on. No, no, no. <laughs> we, got, we got two. Suction cup nipple. All right, we got to get Suck shit and cup. Suck shit and cup. Right, finish my educated guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Folks. educated. See, this is how long I was waiting. <laughs> Came, back was around. Yeah. Much. Came back around. Came back around. I'll tell you this much. Not only was that nipple a suction cup, but <laughs> so was. <laughs> 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 So what she We'll be right back, it's the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh shit, it is the bonfire coming to the radio series XM ninety five. Full house today. Big J Okerson here, Dan Soder there. We got a fucking good one going. Joining us, Nate Bargatze. Of course, Nate and Dan uh, both have Netflix specials. One hundred and two degrees outside right now. Also, the Netflix Frog's special. Neck Bridge is. Oh god damn it! Yeah. Oh, a lot of little, Nate and Dan. Another shot. Nate and Dan both. Shot. I'm trying to do plugs. Nate and Dan both have. Uh, this is how Dan gets. It's back in it. I don't know if I can do another shot of tequila. Yeah, like, can, yeah, if we we're going to ride into the night tonight, I don't know if I can. Okay. Good call. Good call. Uh, I'm getting good a little call. foggy right Rosa. now. We're responsible, Joe. We're responsible. Uh, yeah. hey. Sounds like I replaced the A with the O. Wow. <laughs> hey, how did my night end last night? All right. So the wait, the wait, night. wait, wait. No? Hang on. Not you can soda and Nate Bargatze <laughs> have Netflix half-hour oh, specials coming up. Uh, it's called The Stand-Up. It premieres on Netflix July 4th. Dan's going to be at the Comedy Works. Coming home Thursday, June 29th through Saturday, July 1st. Get all your tickets at dansoder.com. And then check out Big J at the Dick Crow Comedy Club in William Wilmington, North Carolina, July 7th and 8th. Get tickets at bigjcomedy.com. Go to joederosa.com. Go to burtkreischer.com. And go to napargatze.com. Check out Burt. Check out Burt. Yeah, I'll plug, can I plug something? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I will be in Philly at the Pond. Punchline, the weekend of July that was something 13th, like okay. and the following weekend, I will be in Austin at the Cap City Comedy Club, and yeah. then the first week of April, I'm co-headlining with Com Kyle Kinane at an Ooh. Amsterdam festival. You're getting greedy. Called do, something. Or, do for the proper website. Dates. Don't worry, my shows are sold yeah. out. Oh! oh. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. That's a perfect segue into Nate's. I need way help in Tampa. Yeah. So you guys. Tampa. Let me set you up with Cowhead. It's such a classy. It's such a classy town. Love my Cal. Mike Calta is Love my ass, man. He's one of my best friends. I have a few group of people that make me giggle hardcore. Last night, at the end of the night, I was with Sam Roberts, who, by the way, I love to death. Yeah. I really love him. I, I yeah, do think he's a can. great broadcaster. Yeah. Yeah, never I like Sam. Right. And I was like, I'm going home. And then DeRosa grabbed me and goes... Oh, this is the end of the night. This is the story. And this so is the last thing I remember. Last thing I remember. I grab Bert and I go... I go Dude, what are you doing? He goes, I fucking leave it. I'm fucked up. <laughs> and I go, let's do a shot. And he goes, I gotta go do I'm fucked up. I gotta do it in the morning. I go, I don't give a fuck. Let's go do a shot. And he goes, all right, one shot. <laughs> <laughs> you went and did a Jaeger bomb. Now, here's the funny part of the big Jaeger bomb. I dragged Gino and Mike Vecchione into it. Oh, yeah. Gino told me today that he bought... he. Bought and forced Mike to do a shot of whiskey, and he goes. So Mike does the shot and goes. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Stop. And he goes. No sooner did he put the glass down that you walked in with Bert and you go, you're doing a fucking Jagger bomb right now. <laughs> that, you, know, you, know, you know, Mike and I fucked the same chick. Yeah, yeah. you guys yeah. date? Yeah, like, dude. Can I? He's my roommate. Was, so let's my, even, hold like, on, hold on, Jay. Stop, it's Jay. Great. I'm with you. Uh -huh. We're in Mohegan Sun. Yeah. We get done the show. I have to drive that night. I think we smoke pot. It's me, you, and Mike in the, in the, cool. in the hotel room. Oh, I think yeah, it's cool yeah. that you guys smoke And I still. said, uh, where are you from? He goes, Boca. <laughs> I said, that's so funny. I dated Miss Boca High. He goes, so did I. Oh, that's right. Yeah, And yeah, I go, yeah. what? He goes, 91. I go, wait, Alex? And he goes, oh, you're FSU Burt. I go, you're the wrestler Mike. And then I said to him, I go, hey, man, I got to ask. She went home. She said goodbye to you and broke up. 
did she fuck you? And he was like, yeah. I was like, I fucking knew it. I That's knew it. Crazy. I remember that. Yeah. Dude. He's like, yeah, she came back and he goes, yeah. You and Mike Vecchio and our Eskimo brothers. Yeah, we are. That's great. Now, but, can I ask you a serious question? Uh, did you fuck Mike Vecchio on after that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you should have the seen the picture. Yeah, well, hit, it, we're talking early 90s, Mike. That's with some traps. That's trap heavy Mike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He looks like the, he looks like your ripped uncle. <laughs> oh, dude, living with him, <laughs> living with him, I get concerned when I go out to piss at 350 and his fucking door's still open and I'm like, Oh God, he's lost. <laughs> Mike's got a body like he stacks outboard motors at a boatyard. <laughs> who said? Who said to him last night? They go, uh, "Hey, thanks, thanks for stopping from cleaning your garage." <laughs> oh, I, I said that. I, go, we always, I said that at Skankfest. I said he's dressed like he's cleaning out his garage. Oh, oh, he's got a Cleveland yeah. Brown shirt. Yeah, he just had a yeah. ratty yeah. Cleveland Brown shirt. Vecchione's Cape Fear body. <laughs> oh, he really does. He's just laughing out loud at a movie. So Nate, when uh, when we knew Nate was coming on the show, Nate just kept rubbing. Rubbing his hands and being like, I got this story for you guys. Uh, I cannot wait to tell you. And he's like, me, yeah. I'm going to tell you and Jay. I can't wait. But the fact that Bert and Joe are here makes it even better because he's good. just been like, yeah. it's not my, it's, this isn't, but th- this is not my story. Okay. It's just a story from this golfer, Boo Weekly. And, his uh, name is Boo his Weekly. His name is Boo Weekly. Southern? Super, super Southern, dude. Boo, is he Southern? Super Southern. Yeah. Southern. Yeah. I don't know. He's either Southern or Black yeah. or both. <laughs> Super Southern. So let me, uh, let me get through. It's such a good story. Boo. It's not about golf. Boo Weekly. Boo. So, uh, he's a golfer and this was, so this is when he was, when he was young. This happened to him when he was super young. Grew up in like, I, I don't know where he grew up. Uh, it was like Georgia. Or I grew up like, in Alabama, yeah. Mississippi. His name's you know, Boo Weekly. And I'm gonna just yeah. read it. That sounds like a, I, that Boo sounds Weekly. like a, a ghost story, like a fucking flyer you get. You go, oh, I got the new Boo Weekly. That sounds like a big fat black, like blues guitarist. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh. Hey, what's up happening to everybody? I'm hey, Boo everybody, Weekly. me Boo Weekly. Nah, I lost my back. Anybody, anybody here in Canton, Ohio, know about the blues? Boom. Hey, Jay, let me sing a song where also, I'm at the devil at the crossroads. Also, this, that last song ain't about an ex-wife. That's about me losing my left leg to diabetes. Right. Diabetes. So look, this is already going good. Yeah, yeah. See I'm, what I mean? I'm happy. I'm very happy. But you gotta, you gotta let me finish the story. All right. So well, you gotta, y'all can't. I know, but y'all have to try not to say anything. All right, All right. y'all. So here's how it starts. All right. Here's Here's the, sto- uh, here's the story yeah. of Boo Week. <laughs> so it's like so a one, fucking Southern yeah. wives tale. Uh, uh, yeah, he goes, yeah. y'all want to hear <laughs> what happened? Do you guys know what happened to uh, Boo Weekly? Nate, do you want to put a flesh under your chin before you tell the story? Ah, yeah. <laughs> That's what they just said. Like. Yeah. All right. Hey, can y'all get it together? Do I have to keep this show rolling? Because yeah. y'all don't know how to do radio. Uh, yeah. I tried to do that Sorry. at the beginning of the Guys, this the is Rosa my trip. radio show, The Bonfire. It's Nate Bargatze Bonfire. So could y'all oh, be Nate normal for two stinks. seconds? Can you, can you <laughs> no, this story's a little, unbelievable. A little bit of crackle in the background. It's not my story. Just so we really for camping and Nate's telling us. All right, Nate. <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell your infamous Boo Weekly. Boo Weekly. Y'all, y'all. This is y'all the Golf Digest is what I'm reading this from. It's my day. I want to tell you the story Boo Weekly. <laughs> one Friday night, he said, this is what he says. One Friday night when I was 16, a bunch of us went to the county fair. A truck pulled in there, sort of away from the midway, and we watched the guy get out and put together a big cage he had in the bed of his truck. After he got the cage together, he put up a little table, a little table. Then he went to the cab of the truck and brings out an orangutan. <laughs> He starts yelling five to win 50. Like, who can beat the orangutan? Pay $5 to try to beat the orangutan and get 50 if you can whip him. If you can beat him, you would get 50 bucks. And beat him in what? In a you fight. Fight, <laughs> fight, fight. A orangutan. So they put boxing and where, gloves hold on, on the orangutan. Just for the sake of the story, where is Slow this? Uh, this is when Book Weekly was I a child. I know. It's when he was a child. So I, mean, I think he's from Georgia. So I think it's like something like that. He goes, this and some <laughs> say, and some five say, get fifty. Five get fifty. <laughs> That's so, so, so good. They still Dude, see that story, orangutan in these woods. Yeah, <laughs> it's the it's the, all right. The, you next got, one. You have to let me get to the because right, it's so good. Okay, okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We ne- he's like, and so he, he was basically, he, he's 16 years old, so he's like, we've never seen anything like that before, so we decided that one of us had to try. And he's like, so he drew the short straw. He did, he's a professional golfer. He's like, so five, there was five of them, their buddies, they each threw a dollar in. So it was five bucks. They gave the guy with the truck five dollars. He's like, before helping me into the boxing gloves and headgear, he made me sign a waiver. Looking back, that was a bad sign. <laughs> 
He goes, so I got in the ring. The orangutan didn't look like much. He came up to about my chest, though his arms were as long as he was tall. When the match started, he didn't lift his arms. He kept them down at his side and used them to pivot and follow me as I circled him like Muhammad Ali. I just didn't see how I could miss. My strategy was to fake with my right hand, and when the orangutan tried to block the punch, I'd throw with my left. He goes, my buddies were going wild. They're like, get him, boo, kick his butt. They really wanted that $50. So I moved in close. I faked with my right, and that's the last thing I remember. I woke up bleeding in the back of a friend's pickup truck. The orangutan had knocked me, uh, knocked me cold with one punch, which I didn't even see coming. My friends thought it was hilarious. They called him, like, glass jaw. And he says afterwards he came, and they watched the orangutan knock out guy after guy. Because no one, he's like, no, not one guy could lay a glove on, on him. He had re- Reflexes like a cat, and later I learned that an orangutan can tear a guy's arm off. Dude, that is. First is it off, not the greatest story of all time? It's an awesome story. But the, but the confidence that the guy that owns him sets uh, up that cage with, where he goes, All right, is the table ready? Yeah. Good. Cage is good? All right, here we go. Five! Yeah. He's like, I hope you're ready. Picture an orangutan. If, if you're dri- like, if you're you're driving right now, if you're listening to this, picture an orangutan just sitting there and he doesn't care. His arms are down and he doesn't care what you're doing. And in your head, you're going all over the place. And then you think, I'm gonna go punch him. And you go to punch him, and then you just wake up in your friend's truck because this orangutan has raised his seven foot arms and just knocked you out. So say on your way there, you're doing some sort of a kata, like yeah. a, a, like a, a lot of demo. Demonstration before you make your move on him, <laughs> and the things the orangutan's the, the got a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. Like, what are we doing? It's like Damon Wayans punched you. <laughs> I just like I didn't move my arm. <laughs> I was yeah. trying to get this thing away from me. Yeah. 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 He doesn't even know what he did. He doesn't even know what he did. He just wakes up. Can you imagine just sitting there watching that day after day? Like you just sit there, like and you're like, let's go watch these dudes because drunk guys can. They're like, we all we all know the mentality it takes that, to go. Like I could beat up this orangutan. Have, like, have you ever heard the phone call? Of the lady who owned the monkey, that the monkey lost her, the monkey just lost his shit one day and ripped her friend's face off. Oh, that was yeah. in Connecticut. And her calling the cops is yeah. one of the Can funniest things. No, 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 no. She's like, oh, oh God. It scares me. Oh, God. Yeah, I, know. And the lady, I want to be in giggles. No, please don't pull up the picture of the lady's face. Don't pull up. Pl- no, no, forget, forget her face. Don't no, I don't want to see it. It's, it's right. scary looking. Yeah. Wait, I said I don't worry about her face. You got to hear the phone call. No, no, it's scary. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. What are you hiding from? I don't want to see the lady's face. It's very scary. We're pulling the phone call. Y'all should have a. I don't want to see it. Face you is going to be on the damn a phone call. Hey. If you Google "monkey ate the lady's face," no, her face is going to come up. That's not no, as good yeah. as the boom. We're not doing. We're doing. Right. We're doing hey. nine one one phone call. It feels like you're trying to get it brought up by you naming. He goes exactly no, 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 how no, to bring it up. If you if you if Google, you look up hashtag nineteen ninety seven hashtag uh, monkey attack face hashtag <laughs> like, we're not, hashtag where's my nose? Oh, but there is a picture of it. Yeah, good I know, lord, it's, I know, it's <laughs> good lord. Oh, fuck. Dude, I know. I told you, don't stop it. Take it off the damn screen. Oh! Oh! It's on the screen, Joe. There's nothing there. Um, Hey, is Boo Radley a a red? Boo Radley Radley is a blues guitarist. Boo, what's his name? Boo Weekly. He golfed the Jordan Spieth this weekend. Somebody give Nate the award for the most Southern story of all time. He goes, one time. I was knocked out by a monkey and I woke up in a pickup truck. That's an unbelievable story. Is that not the funniest story? Like, if he was a comedian. He's he's oh, good yeah. for the rest of his life to dude, close on that story. Just the, to, like he fought a, an orangutan. Dude. I, tried, orangutan. I, I did a, I did a show one time uh, with uh, professional wrestlers in L. A. And they were like, "Hey, what story are you going to tell?" It was a did story they have the shirt on? You didn't. I did. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. <laughs> and they were like, uh, "Rowdy Rowdy Piper's on the show." I was like, "I think I'm good. My stories are all <laughs> happened to me. I don't think we're going to step on each other's material." Rowdy Roddy Piper tells a story about fighting a bear, which I've, I, uh, I, that was the story I was going to tell. And his was a hundred times better than my story. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, apparently. He won. Dude, it was, no, he had to get the bear drunk. Dude, it was the best story I've ever heard. And I sat there going, I can't follow it. I, I have a bear fighting story. It's not as good. Um, I am a hammer. Your bear, right your bear fighting story. We have a Rowdy Roddy Piper amazing. story. Oh, he was the worst. But that was, yeah, he Metzger. Was? Yeah, Metz, he was hammered. Metzger nailed him, though. Yeah, they said he wanted to do a guest spot on a comedy show I was, it was doing. In, how's, uh, here's how crazy Rascals. the show is. 
Uh, Vecchi owns hosting. I, I'm not crazy. Vecchi owns hosting. I was a guest at Metzger featured in Jay Hill. Great. That's a was great nice dude. Oh, shit. Shit. He was a dick because he was hammered. That sucks, man. But he that, was. That, but here's the thing. He, he seems was, like the nicest guy. He said he wanted to do a spot, but he kept like infiltrating everybody else's set. So <clears throat> yeah. when uh when Kirk got on stage after he like took a weird weird one, Roddy Roddy Piper, no one knew what he was doing. He was up there it just was rambling a horror on stage. Convention, yeah. Thing. Oh yeah, I, I was I was at Rascals before yeah, yeah, when they were doing that. Yeah. yeah. So he comes in and uh and uh, yeah, he gets on stage with uh, Kurt. And he actually bum rushes Kurt on stage because Kurt says. Hey, Roddy Roddy Piper, everybody. He came here to chew bubble gum and tell jokes, and he's all out of jokes. <laughs> and he came, yeah, and he came on stage and just did like a weird, like, chest out thing for like put a while. That's funny. Yeah, I think he put him in a headlock. Yeah, it was very really? weird. Yeah, because, yeah, that's like a guy that's like, like, I'm going to be funny by kind of beating you up. And you're like, that's not he what I want to do. At all. He's very funny. When he was on It's Always Sunny, yeah, he was very he funny. Dead? He's, dead. He's, he's dead. dead. No, I know he's dead, but he was. He's dead, I know he's dead. Why do you guys bring that up, Joe? Stop now. Zinger. Ah, oh, you should have taken your time. Yeah, and that's he go. He was funny when he was on the show. It was funny. Yeah. He's been dead. Oh, he's, his, he's at his most funny. I think he really hit his stride lately. Teach your cannon. That's how I send all my uh, big bits now. Because he's dead. I'd rather, I'd rather have sex with Roddy, Roddy, Piper. No! <laughs> Teach your cannon. In his <laughs> Do we have this uh, audio? Are y'all sorry farted? That's true. Uh, from that one, one, where's your emergency? She goes like this. She, it sounds like she's laughing. She goes, this monkey. <laughs> she, just went. Is she about to tell the Boo <laughs> Weekly story? Like a commercial. Did she goes, just tell that this story rascal. that I told him? Like, oh. She goes, I, I got him in overalls. He's looking adorable. <laughs> yeah. She goes to give him a kiss on his belly. She just tore her goddamn face off. His whole goddamn face is gone. Is it, at, face is it at her house? Yeah, it was that far. So of her she house. just had a, a she had a pet monkey, monkey. Yeah, and then just decided pissed off at her friend. So it's the uh, YouTube video, the Stanford, Connecticut chimpanzee attack. Hit play. This is you. What's the Send the police. Send the police. <laughs> What's the problem there? She goes. The chip killed my my friend. What's the problem with your friend? It killed. Oh. Please. What's the problem with your friend? I need she to goes know. like this. What was your friend doing? Yeah, what did your friend do to the monkey? She fucking weighed the banana and then shoved it up her twat. Come Stephen get it, monkey. She was, Stephen A. Smith. I'm you. Yeah, she was, yeah. I'm you, I'm you, but evolved. <laughs> Can you imagine being the moment, though, and you have to be like, and he's like, I know, but you got to explain it. You're like, dude, it's chaos here. Like, it's go, like, oh, oh, there's a monkey attacking just, us. Okay. Just get here. And I know, but and I need to know. always like, what is the cross streets? Yeah. Oh, my God. A monkey's got my friend's face in his hand. She just, you know the movie, do you know the movie Face Off? It's like that, but with a monkey. monkey. Uh, my uh, friend Gail is all stolen hair. I owe her 50 bucks. She's never going to let this go. She's never going to let this go. Listen to the chip in the background <laughs> losing his fucking mind going, call 911. Uh, I lost my going. shit. She, uh, keep playing it. With a gun, with a gun. So I kill it. Wait, hurry up. What is the problem? Ugh. He's killing my friend. Who's killing your friend? Chim my chimpanzee. Oh, your chimpanzee what? is killing your friend. Yes. Okay, hold on. What's his name? Up. What's his name? Mr. Yeah. Is Mr. Noodles killing your friend? You know he's got some crazy name. <laughs> what if she thinks that he... Is Mitten, they, is Mittens? <laughs> what, if, what if they thought he, she was just being real racist? <laughs> like, she's like, that's the first thought. Is He's like, he goes, all right. he's like, all right, dude. He goes, he's like, these monkeys are killing... He's like, all right, sir. Like, like uh, man... Like, in Stanford, like, that's, Connecticut? That's yeah, a pretty white on. area for yeah. you. Usually, <laughs> I find it I find it hard to believe <laughs> that to this it, is happening. You have to give it to this guy for even uh, listening to this at all. Because I mean, if you call me and my chip is killing my friend, I just hang up. Yeah, yeah. No goes, I like that. He goes in Stanford. That sounds like a Congo crime. Yeah. <laughs> or I, 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 the name, yeah. the, the silly name, is the best. Oh my god! He goes, oh, bongos is ripping her fucking yeah. nose clean off. Hang on, I'm gonna try to reason with him, Mister Noodles. <laughs> Mister Noodles, please stop you ripping my friend's eyes off. Someone shoot him! Peanuts? Someone. Yeah. Yeah, she really is. She's like, do it! <laughs> it's like she's been raising it forever. Do it! Dude, I did an episode of TV with a chimp, and they uh, put him on my neck. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Are we done? Like a sad moment. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, we haven't been on the air the whole time. So. <laughs> he locked and down. Alive. He locked down and grabbed one of my ears. And I, and 
I started monkeying it up like and we were like oh and the, the, the trainer got my eye contact he's like we're all cool everyone's cool you're fine I was like okay and then he took the chimp off and I was like that that was crazy huh and he was like yeah 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 he I, he started to freak out because of the cameras I was like what would happen and he was like he would rip your ears off and eat your genitals and fingers first yeah. And I was like, uh, how did you got my... your jeans off? Oh. Hey, folks, I didn't know we were talking about my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> I what? didn't know we were talking about my... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't even realize we were oh, having a conversation about... Oh, 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 you motherfucker. You guys should have told me. You guys, you guys should have told me that we were about to talk about my... <laughs> that sounds like a story about my ex why? Uh, I, also, I like uh, that you could work with someone that, like, you have to work with someone that you're like, what's, like, the downside? You're like, well, he could freak out and rip your a person's ears there off. <laughs> there, you know how this looks like the cutest thing on earth? It's also the most terrifying. Okay, Worst so case guy, scenario. Like, with, with he these smells, if he yeah. smells fish... He'll buck the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. Go, we say, what? Is there fish around here? They go, I don't know. It's always dicey. <laughs> Worst case scenario, fish he rips his ears off. World's 80% water. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, sushi's pretty popular in this town. Anyways, let's put him up on your neck. <laughs> now, be careful, Bert. He might anyway. buck and rip your ears and dick off. All right, we're on. back with Bert Crusher and the monkey on his head. Uh, 33 degrees outside. It's been stopped, jumping all over the place. So. I'm working with animals because of that. What's yeah, that? It's I stopped working with animals because of that. Is I that yeah. the fact that you've got to a place in your life neck, that dude. you could say I'm not working with animals no more? Have you ever like seen me get mauled by a bull? Huh? Have you ever seen me get mauled by a bull? I didn't even know you did comedy no. until today. Dude. So <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware of you. I yeah. wasn't aware of all your works until this afternoon. <laughs> Pull up, hurt Burt Rodeo Clown. I, oh, dude, shit. you've never seen this? No. Ah, no. oh, come on. Pull up Herbert Rodeo Clown. I want to see that. I, I, watch like, I watch all your sexy videos. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like watching Bert gets it. Bro. Okay, watch this. This, by the oh. way, let's take two seconds to remember how young I was. Oh, how old Actually, were you? Yeah, play the ad. She's forty-one. Yes, <laughs> forty-one years old. What's this guy <laughs> eating? Now you can enjoy the yeah. taste of a Saturday morning breakfast. Is that beef Ted. Ted. Oh. Even on a Wednesday. What a piece of trash! Me a beer, Who you? eats beef? Jimmy Dean beefaroni. Here we go. That looks good. This is back when I was into branding. <laughs> Bert versus Bull. Look at that bull. That's we'll put this out on our Twitter right? at Bonfire. Is that the Bonfire the SXM? SXM. Yeah, with the full head of hair. At Bonfire, yeah. Follow it. We'll tweet it out. Oh man, you can even in your body language tell you are not a very. That's you right there. Yeah. Oh. 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 Right. Look, broke my foot. Was that broke my ribs. Oh, really? right there? Broke your ribs. Foot. Broke my ribs. Right there. How do I get out? <laughs> oh, <laughs> how do I get out? Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> the the no know, wind just comes to my mind when I think. Damn, get back! I gotta get. I'm to the hospital. <laughs> you know, As he gets it, like you're Jay. smoking weed. Like, Jay. How young I, I think I can walk it off. I can't walk it off. Yeah. I can't walk it off. <laughs> Hold on, rewind it, Christine. <laughs> but Jay, going, Jay, going, it sound, Jay, it sounded like this. I just want to rewind it, make sure we got all that. Here he goes. She goes, Melanie, parking. I gotta get out of here. I like the calm before the storm. Where he looks like a like a quarterback. Then he's getting ready to get sacked. He's like, all right, number 17's running a nice route. <laughs> I got number Whoa. Three. I get like, a little bit Christ. of the head on me. You did an after my interview? Head, my whole oh. side of my body from my hip to my oh. shoulder. Right? I've been hit a lot. I've been hit by football players. I got hit in the mouth with a baseball bat. 26 teeth got knocked out. That didn't hurt as bad as getting hit by that bull. I could feel his hook scrape down my leg and step on my foot. And all I thought was, please, God, just get this bull away from me. So that I don't speak with like a slur a, for the rest of my life and have a hoof now. print on the side of my head. Like, it doesn't even sound like you. It doesn't even sound like me. I think that's alcohol. Not you yeah. at all. Yeah. Alcohol. Were you drunk <laughs> doing this? No, uh, I had taken a Xanax the night before and drank, <laughs> yeah. and so I was I was very hungover. And we were doing the run through, and I was like, Ah, oh, man, I think it's a bad idea. What's crazy about this no, story I is think that the number one thing that you could hear What's that, would make, that, that, would, that would make a hangover like worse afterward. He goes, he goes, I'm hungover. He goes, what are we shooting today, guys? He goes, oh, <laughs> you hit by a bull. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. You're playing a bull? Like a bull. Actually, no, Bert, uh, we talked about this in the production meeting. A full bull 
it's, it's gonna ram you. It's but a like, whole bull. But like whole bull. Not a fat half bull, right? Or like, is it like a cow? Is it like part cow? A little no, bit? Full like, no, it's like a. It's, full, a, legit it's bull. a straight up bull. Crazy. It's, it's like, like a pretty. Bull. Bull. And let me tell you something. He's not on board with today either. He it seems he's like he, over too. It looked like he drank last yeah. night because he is furious. I think well, someone got in there and tied up his balls. Yeah. Might have been me. <laughs> Anyways, good luck out there. What's crazy about that is that this is before viral videos. Is before the internet really like like. So we shot, I think, how I think long have you done comedy? Six minutes? 75 years? I'd done comedy maybe. No, in general. Four years. That's what I'm saying. You, you've oh, really? Four, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I it was think way so. early. Oh, yeah, it was right at the beginning of my career. Um, it's a two minute video, and we got done, and they were like, hey, uh, we need you back in there. I was like, what? And they're like, it's, cause no one had the idea that you could watch something for two minutes and be happy and yeah. move on to the next thing. Right. They're like, we need to be 13 minutes. Oh, so I went back shit. in the fucking ring with the bull. Broken a, foot. A, broken foot, broken, broken ribs. ribs. I remember losing my shit on this fucking producer. Did the show get picked up? Nope. That's, <laughs> right. That's what's great. <laughs> nope. Oh. Yeah, isn't that fucking bizarre? I, know. That's, though, I mean, the sound you make after getting hit, we're like, hey, guys, I think that one was real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one was real. Did we get real. it? Was that in one take? <laughs> that- also, did we get it in one? Yeah. Guys, three things are possible right one? now. My ribs are broken. I'm going to take a shit, or I'm about to le- we'll let out a big old cloud of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what did you say? First positions? All right. Yeah. I'm just going to ralph real quick. Oh, uh, uh, wait. Marty, up up there. You want to do it again? I just got a phone call. I said, take this phone call. Do you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My phone's ringing. Guys, There's no you, cell phones. Guys, yeah. hold on. I gotta, make sure I, did, I gotta make sure my meter's got some change. <laughs> Wait, can I tell you how frustrating it is to air that on TV and not get famous? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to, to do that and go, I got one in the can. This so is gonna what, be good. That's what the jackass guys can always hang their hat on is like they got very famous off those ridiculous things. I was things. gonna say, how did you never link up with the jackass guys? I, I, you want, oh, you wanna know a really crazy story? Yeah. yeah. So when, uh, Rolling Stone yes. magazine came out, and called me the number one party in the country. Uh, ESPN wanted to do a series of commercials with me. So they sent down two actors in a tour bus to party. One of them was Johnny Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville and I sat in my kitchen in college. Johnny, I had Johnny Knoxville at the top of my stairs. He goes, you guys want to see me fall down a flight of stairs? And everyone in my... This is 1997. He goes, hey, hey, everybody, we're all going to get concussions. And he was like, watch this. And blew down my stairs. What? We were dressed in drag. Uh, were you like, this dude's the greatest dude of all time? I said, I said, man, I said to him, I'm going to move to New York and do stand-up. He said, I live in L.A. And he, I swear to you, all my children. Now, my memory's a little cloudy, but like... <laughs> He pitched me the idea of jackass in my kitchen in college with Hutch. And he was like, American flag, the music, I get shot by a gun, I get shot by a crossbow. And I was like, holy shit. And then I moved to LA, New York, started doing stand-up, and then got a deal, moved to L.A., started doing a TV show. One day I'm at California Pizza Kitchen, uh, Chicken Cafe, whatever it's called. Oh, and yeah, it's fucking CPK. hammered. And, and uh, yeah. Johnny Knoxville walks in, and I see him, and I go... Like, just Johnny. He's famous at the time. Johnny Knoxville goes, Burt Kreiser, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Dude, he is the greatest guy in the fucking That's world. That's awesome. Uh, the greatest guy across the board in the world. That's awesome. And, That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, man, I'm fucking I'm basically so a good guy. Happy. The Philly guys don't look quite as cool. They don't seem like they're as cool good dudes. Uh, okay, yeah, all right, where, let me jump yeah. in here. Bam Margera. So when I got Burt Conquer, uh, they made, I, they asked me to do it. I said no. They offered me money. I said no. Then they offered more money and I was like, oh, I'll do it for that. And then because of that, they trickled down. They got a bunch of people that were famous that wanted to audition mm-hmm. for it. One of the guys was Ryan Dunn. Oh, oh really? Oh, shit. Dude, Ryan Dunn's fr- had his friends ride the ride with me to audition for Birth Conquer before he did it because he wanted to know what, like, what was going on. And they came back and they're like, dude, this guy's birth is fucking hilarious. All I mean was black jokes. <laughs> on, the, on the roller coaster. <laughs> and Ryan Dunn and I, dude, hit it off. Bam Margera showed up. He seemed like a good dude. Ryan Dunn seemed like my, my, was my favorite one of yeah. the guys. Oh, Funny person. Because he seemed like a, a gym. He's like, yeah. He had some sort of logic in him. Like, he would do the things, and he'd be like, well, this is about to suck dick. And uh, yeah. 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 slingshot him into a wall. Did you ever see him go in the barrel off the waterfalls? Yeah. In yeah. yeah. Dude, Ryan Dunn was the coolest was motherfucker. Was that on CKY? 
Was that on the I skate video? So. Yeah, that wasn't a jackass. Uh, CKY two K. Weirdly, a uh, weird true thing, but I said this for a long time. Ryan Dunn, when he grew his hair long and jackass too, is what made me grow my hair. That's what made me grow my hair long. I played really? awesome with his he's hair the, long. He's the best. I think my I'm glad we got dude. to the bottom of that. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, you know what? Too many comics in the room. Somebody was going to shit on that story, uh, but it's true. I think my favorite. <laughs> I, was watching, I watched Nate hold his breath like a sniper. He goes, <laughs> "What's the name? Keep up, jackass dude." Finally, mystery <laughs> solved. Guys, Mr. Favorite? Bonfire, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, everybody, we'll see you. <laughs> Thanks for listening. The, 25 he's, he's degrees one outside. Of the guys that's less less famous, but he's my favorite guy. G, uh, Jason, By the way, I'm obsessed uh, with this podcast. Obsessed. So Jason or Jay? What's what's his name? I weigh Jay, uh, no, from no. from Jackass. Here it is. Uh, Jason Wee Man. No, 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 Ugh. not we. Oh, Dave England. He's my favorite dude. Yeah. Uh, I, I fucking way love Dave way different like than what you were going hurt, for. And he's just like, oh man, it's just. I, <laughs> he starts like muttering. You he's, worked with Steve. Right? My favorite yeah. dude. You worked with Steve. Jay a bunch. Steve-o, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I met Steve once. He was kind of mean to me, but Steve. Yeah, he's weird. He's very. He wasn't really nice mean. Guy. He was just like he was just like I don't give a fuck like about meeting you. It was like the timing though. It was like you met him in a weird like. I just was like, dude. I I, I you told me sorry yeah, to bother you. Out, like yeah. I love everything you do, and I'm doing the show tonight. Uh, with you. Hey, thanks. And he was just like, yeah, yeah, thanks. Man. He goes, all right, yeah. Uh, like, yeah but yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just not. been a weird moment. Whatever. I, I, when weird. I had him on my podcast, and I I, I, I hope he he's, hears he's really good. He's a really good dude to me. You could tell he didn't want to do it. You see in his eyes, he was like, Rrr. and I was like, I watched your special because I had the Showtime special coming out. I was like, I watched your special, I really liked it. And he lit up, he was like, for real? Like, like blown away that a comic would watch another yeah. comic special. And dude, he's doing sets of the Is story. He, now. Could he not believe that a comic could lie to his face like that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he was most yeah. impressed by? You guys by the are, way, mas- by you the guys way, are master not, uh, liars. I'm not passed at the store. He goes, <laughs> ah, that's, he goes, <laughs> Hey, no, no. When, I'm when glad you're giving Steve-O sets. He goes, when you are... <laughs> yeah, it really does stink. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it, guys. DeRosa, <laughs> it's fine. I'll shove it up my ass. That was just a paper cut on DeRosa's fucking heart oh of his comedy God. career. All right, Playmate of the Year 1995, guys, Julie McCullough is doing a set. Yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. The lady that played Mrs. Roper wants to do some time. I mean, do you literally fucking miss And then right Stan. Hey, everyone. She goes, Stan Lee. <laughs> okay, I know you're all thinking it, so let me just get it out of the way. Stan Lee. <laughs> I like the comic store follows that though with like that and then like all right just give it up for the guy that's been washing your dishes all night he has to go up so and then they bring him up. Joe, we don't have room for you. We got a uh, here's we've the, got the sister from Family Matters going on. And also, then, uh, after the that, the door that empties the dumpsters. Going up. <laughs> after and the door I, guy who's got fucking tongue po hair, yeah. he put in his and then time. Sixty three year old veteran of comedy does knock knock jokes. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry we can't pass you just now. You went up and they didn't pass you? I've been up a million dollars I, past. I got passed. No, I'm the, not passed either. I got sure? passed they, by yeah, fucking passed. that dumbass guy that used to run a Tommy. Oh, oh, shit, and he yeah. forgot he that he passed suck my me. Dick. He forgot oh. that he passed me two times. I don't know. Oh, Tommy, I don't man. know anything about that. He was a cunt. Does yeah. know man, he, I was on TV. You might have to explain pass. Passed, when I, when, it's, when it you pass a guy, you audition. You basically yeah. go up at a comedy club and they decide if they're going to start working you regularly. Yeah, it works. That's how Tommy, Tommy, when I did pass there, because first of all, it was the second or third time I went up for him. Every time I went back out there, he would tell me, he goes, yeah, when you come back out, he goes, let me know, and I'll I'll put you in. I'll see if you vibe with the all the rooms. You know, we got to see if you vibe, maybe a little longer. Set. And he's doing this thing. He just happened to be doing it to me, like, pretty deep into my, like, 16 years into my comedy he's career. Right. He's doing it. So I'm like, so it's just like, got to see if you vibe with the other rooms. And it's just like, uh, what, I, and I go, I wasn't shitty to him at all, ever. I just go. Whatever your process is, dude, it's fine. When I come out, I'll go on again. He's like, yeah, dude. we only had you do like seven or eight now. And then next time we'll see you do ten, maybe in the main room. And we'll uh, see. And give me yeah. this whole thing. What when a I fucking did, moron. When I, was, when I called back to say I was going to audition, uh, he was like, I don't recall. I don't remember this at all. I go, I go, yeah, man. I go, Ari Shafir, Bill Burr, like those guys called for me. And he's like, I, I, if you say so, I don't know. He's like, will you come out and we'll, we'll take a look at you again. So I'm like. He's like seven minutes in the OR or whatever. I'm like, okay. So I go and I do the set when I got off stage. I had to go. I had to leave. I was like, hey, I was like, uh, I was like, so what, are you happy? Was it cool? And I swear to you, he starts a 30 minute 
explanation of the history of the comedy. So, yeah. he, oh, by the way, to get to a, to a dramatic crescendo, because he goes, I swear to you, it starts with Desi Arnaz bought this building oh, in nineteen, you know, whatever fifty, whatever. And I'm like, oh, and he goes through the whole thing. Goes and then Sammy Shore and the, his music thing, whatever. And he goes through Mitzi, and then it comes all the way down a half hour, Joe, with no exaggeration. I, I, Christine I, 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 was there. He goes, he goes, and Mitzi Shore now in her state has entrusted me to find the comics that not just uh, could be working here, but should be working here. <laughs> and you, Jay Okerson, should be working here. I went, thanks, Tommy. And I just left. I was, I was like, thanks. It was the first time I talked. I was like, thanks, we appreciate it. I was like, I got it. Like, oh, that yeah, was, was fucking was insane. Fucking I go, what are you on, doing? Hold on, hold on. So I call up Steve Byrne, Ahmed, <laughs> Sebastian. I'll say you should be working at the store. So... I call up Tommy. Why are you not booking Burt <laughs> Kreischer? You're going to have a comedy show, and you don't have Burt Kreischer? You're going to throw a show and put on these Dane Cooks, and you I got see your Bill Dawes wearing flip-flops. You're going to tell me you got a room upstairs, downstairs, <laughs> and in the main room, and you're not going to have a party animal? You got, you got jalapeno on a stick written on your walls? You got a And you're not gonna put on what? what? You got Eliza Schlesinger going up telling world you're war gonna, two jokes. You're gonna tell me that these people from out of town are gonna walk in they're gonna go, I don't see a guy go, I gotta see a guy party. You got a guy out here barking cars like, hey, give me the key, I gotta do Thing with the key. Why? You have the sun. Kreischer's you in the upstairs guy parking cars on you got a guy. First off, you're a comedy <laughs> club next to a mountain. <laughs> and you're not going to have a burp. Why would you? You had a do? guy that jumped off of the roof of a neighboring <laughs> hotel in 1975. And you're not going to put Burt Kreischer on stage. Oh, you got a guy on TV. And you're not going to put him on because some dishwasher has to go on? <laughs> what? I mean, oh, I, oh, what do you do? So, <laughs> I can do Sebastian's all day. Uh, all day. I love Sebastian uh, yeah. so much. So I call the, Tommy. The great, can I really make, yeah, yeah. Greatest Sebastian line of all time. Greatest Sebastian line of all time when he talks about going to the supermarket and the lady in front of him is taking too long. She goes, she goes, then she asked for a pack of Marlboro Lights. Now he's got to go to the cage. Oh, that's, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite Sebastian impression parts is that thing. Are you going to do it? So he, goes, so he, goes, uh, he goes, this guy comes up to me. I say, what are you doing? He goes, I'm waiting in line. <laughs> to fucking smack the mic and just put the... Why would you do that? You're going to cook chicken in your room? Yeah. The Why? The parking. <laughs> yeah, he goes, oh he goes, oh. that's why I did, I did in a cab, in a cab going to, in Buffalo. That's what was funny, in the cab in Buffalo at uh, Helium. The guy goes, I go, uh, hey, I'm going to use my credit card to pay for the cab. And he goes, I got to charge you a $3 surcharge if you don't want a credit card. He goes, you're telling me I got to pay you to pay you? Why? Why would I do that? You got your little fancy cab situation? I don't know about these people. I say to him, I says to him, I go, uh, why? Who? <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, okay. he's he the fucking go. And we all love him. Why? Like he's a he's Man, unbelievable. Him, well, wait, we got that. Sebastian's so him. funny. We got all that. Bur oh, I think Sebastian's hilarious. We got all that's what I love. Fuck my story. Yeah. Holy shit! That was the fucking. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, you doing Sebastian? Nice I Sebastian. would watch you do his hour <laughs> again oh. on that. I'm thinking about doing him for the. Uh, they have the stick or yeah, treat. You absolutely uh, show have to do that. Yeah, you got to do that. Stick or treat. You have to do Sebastian. Where you do like a cover of another comic's thing, and like you do it like either make it your own or you can do it in. 
doing it's an great. impression, but I think I'm going to do uh, an impression. Uh, of course, go to Burt, Burt, Burt dot com yeah. for all tour dates that are already sold out. Don't also, matter. Also, check out Joe DeRosa. He's going to be in Philadelphia July 13th through the 15th. Go to JoeDeRosa dot com. Nate Bargetti going to be at Side Splitters in Tampa Why? this Thursday through Saturday. Go to, yeah. Nate, go to Nate Bargetti dot com in Tampa. <laughs> Dan Soder and Nate both have half good? hour specials. The stand up premiere yeah. on Netflix July 4th. Dan's going to be coming home to the Denver Comedy Works Thursday, June 29th through Saturday, July 1st. Get your tickets at DanSoder.com. And uh, if you want to check me out, I'm going to be... Yeah, uh, at Dead Crow Comedy, Wilmington, yeah. North Carolina, yeah. July 7th and July 8th. Go to BigJComedy.com. And uh, what a fucking great This episode. has been the most fun I've ever had in radio. Yeah. Yeah. Last it's our, by the way, and, and monumentous, it is, this is our first week doing four days a week, and this is our first Tuesday four ever live oh, on the oh, show. Yeah. So thank, thank you, you guys so much. Congrats. I love You're all right. of you. I'll be back tomorrow. Campers? No, I won't. Oh, all right. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Lou, Black Lou, Jacob, Christine... Crackle, crackle.